Okay. Okie dokie, we are back in the old office. And it feels good to be back. How are you guys? Dally, where are you? I'm here, I'm here. And hey, Gigi, how you doing? Yay, welcome to the stream, everyone. I'm hoping and praying that the audio works, the sound <laughs> works, because it's been a while since I've been at this uh, setup. James, miss you, audio sounds good. Oh, good, good, good. Hey, Theo, what's up, Mia? Hey, Atta Thualpa, Joss, how you doing? Jack of all games, hey, how you doing? Drew, what's up? Juju Magamba! Wait, is my sound effect still on here? Uh, Juju, oh, hold on. Juju Magambo! I can't hear myself back, so I have no idea what this sounds like. Is it this one? Juju Magambo! Oh, that was the right one? Hold on. Juju Magambo! What's up? Thanks for modding today, Juju and James. Oh, Juju and James. The Jays. That's cute. Um, you guys safe from the tropical Oh, you're safe from the tropical storm down there. Um, yeah, yeah. We're not really we're not affected. I heard that it was downgraded, which is good, so. Um, that's a positive. Yeah. Anyway, hi guys, welcome. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Today we're going to be doing a bit of Sims first, and then we're going to swap to a bit of Dreamlight Valley and just hang out. Oh my gosh, that was the mother <laughs> voice. Yeah, I don't know. Usually you can hear it back so you know what you sound like to the audience. Um, because it hasn't... Actually, because we've been in Sydney for a few months, I haven't been at this setup for a while. Usually things change a bit on the setup. No, even though you're not here and you haven't changed anything, it's just how computers work. And I couldn't turn on my computer when I got here and I was like, oh no, my computer's dead. <laughs> but I, am, I need to do this stream. I want to stream. Also, my voice is breaking. I don't know why. I am having a almond latte, almond milk latte. Uh, James is in Sydney, I am in Melbourne. Yes. I've come down because I have some family stuff. Hey Lynn, what's up? Slay, are we doing Sims and Dreamlight? We are, we are. We did not split up. Maybe we should just go with, maybe we should just say, yeah, we're having some issues and we're separated. James took the dog. <laughs> Hope your family stuff is okay. Oh yeah, everything's good. Um, we are just doing an early Christmas um, because it seems like, yeah, for my mom's side of the family, it seems like from now on, we're gonna be doing like Christmas a few weeks before Christmas. I think that's how we'll, we'll start doing it. Because it's so hard to fit everything on the one day. We are dividing and conquering. We just physically spit up. Because we're both alpha simmers, yeah. You know, that's that's why. Love from Saudi Arabia, hello. Hello. So much easier that way, I know, right? A few weeks isn't Christmas in a week. I mean, it's in 10 days, so it's technically, you know, over a week. My friends and family did Christmas in October and that felt so wrong. Oh, I'm so sorry. Um, yeah, October seems a bit early, but you know what? You can, you can celebrate at any time of the year. Shall we jump into some Sims? I actually wanted to do something a little bit experimental today that I'm curious about. I remember the days when Deli used to friend zone James. We, I didn't friend zone him. We were just friends.
You are my favorite Sima. Much love and happy holidays. Happy holidays and much love to you, unbelievable. No friends are in. No friends are in. Um, I also want to say, oops, before I go into um, what I was going to do then. Uh, also, thank you to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's stream. We will be checking out Disney Dreamlight Valley um, in a little while. So we'll check that out soon. Where am I? I'm here. Okay, is the music a bit loud? On my end, it is quite loud. Where am I? I know how it is for you guys, but I'm just gonna turn it down a bit because I'm having a party over here. <laughs> music is okay for me. Yeah. What about now? Is it too quiet? All right, so the reason why I've just started a new household is I just want a random sim. Actually, I'll let you guys name our random sim. He's going to be a developer in Sam Shuno because I want to see if we can do the residential rentals on... I, I'm pretty sure you, we won't be able to do them within apartments because it's an apartment lot. But I, I wonder if we can do it on a penthouse lot. Andrew, Samaj Renrat. Not everyone needs to be called Samaj Renrat, okay? You can't? Oh. Well, that ruins my whole plan. Lucas Bartholomew. I like Bartholomew. They said ages ago you can't. Oh. Well, no one told me. Bartholomew. Me you, Bartholomew, Bartholomew. I actually knew a guy called Bartholomew back in school. Everyone called him Bart for short. Um, he's a, he's a funny kid that one. He was like a real rebel. I think he was like a few years ahead of everyone. Um, there was a patch today. They said they fixed the 4 billion rent bug. bug. Thank God, because that was really bad. I really hope it's fixed. Finally, Delhi can afford rent. Wait, were you worried about me financially? Oh, do you mean you can now buy the Sims 4 for rent? Because it can be a little confusing sometimes. I kept getting that bug, so I stopped playing. Yeah. It, it was a really big bug. It sounds like it's uh, done. All right, so we've got Bartholomew. What's his last name? Uh, the LP. I mean, you can't afford the rent in your LP. Ah, oh, okay, Avery. <laughs> that's funny. They said they fixed the build mode lag. Oh, that's fantastic. Smitherton. Bartholomew Smitherton. Okay, and he's going to be a wait wrong one wrong one fortune there we go he's going to be a five-star property owner of course he's very ambitious but he's also uh he's also going to be maybe a little cringe oh yeah. yeah it's a little cringe and he's a perfectionist. Make sure to use the... Oh, thanks, James. I don't think I can say that out loud on this stream, though. But you can read what James said. <laughs> James is Deli's biggest fan. He is... That's okay. Easy, easy mistake to make. Um, I also should probably let the gram know what we're up to today. So now that we've realized we can't do a rental lot on a penthouse lot, I've got to be honest, you guys, it's ruined my whole idea. I was wanting to do another dream house build so we could get started on that. If you guys are interested. Can he have a cat? Oh, I'm sorry. He can't. He can't. Because we already made him. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Feel really mean. <laughs> you can't do them on water lots? Really? You can't do that in Sulani. I wonder why. Are you sure? 
Could we see if they've fixed the lag? What? Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a quick checkup. Because I'm, I've had a, oh, although I haven't played on this computer. On my other computer, I had a lot of the lag in build, as you can see in our Let's Play. So we'll see. We'll see if it's a thing here. A special lot types. Twisted Mexi had a good explanation of it. Okay. We love Twisted Mexi. We love him. Okay, let's just do like a pretend little build. Do you guys find that you get attached to builds? Like James, I'm wondering with you too, do you get attached to builds where you're like, you start one as a test and then you feel like, oh, I don't, I, I just want to keep building. Like I don't want to just delete it. I get that sometimes. Okay, let's change it to a residential rental. A Sims 4 fall rents rents. We'll do a one. We'll do a two. We'll do a three. And don't worry, I haven't forgotten the bathrooms. I know that you guys are already gonna, gonna worry about that because you're so dedicated and very, ob very observant, much more than me. And I felt the lag mostly with wallpapers. So we'll do that in a sec. Um, I toss it in the trash. Yeah, you would. You would, you dirty. I'll stop there. Now, I get attached to houses, you know. Guys, this is more about my personal life, but I went to my local cafe today and I was really happy because they remember me. And they were like, hi, hi, Maddie. And I was like, oh my God, they remember me and it's been so long. And then I'm pretty sure they made my coffee before other people's. I felt like I got a real VIP treatment. Yeah, they are my babies. They are, right? Um, James is king of renovation. No, I want to be king of renovating. Okay, I'll share it. Deli, hey Maud, how you doing? You had lag with build by? Oh really, F Nicole, thank you so much. Could you create stories while you build and then you get attached? Mmm, that might be why. Yeah, you know, I was playing Snowboard Kids on Nintendo 64 the other night. Oh my gosh, it was the best day of my life. I used to play that so much. And I'm not getting any lag right now. This is, this seems pretty good to me. And I was telling James, I'm like, oh my gosh, sir, so I used to in my head pretend that Slash was best friends with Linda and they were like an item, but Jam was jealous. And I was like, wow, I really did make up stories for literally everything. I used to make up stories for numbers on paper. Like number nine was the spoil. Rich number, snobby, number three was shy and friendly and yellow. <laughs> I like telling stories. Um, all right, I, I think it's fixed. I mean, this is actually, James, would you say this computer is better than the Sydney one? Cause I just feel like everything's smoother right now. Oh my God, me too. Yeah, I miss those games. Nick's, Nintendo 64 was so fun. Such a good time. You don't remember what it is. That's all right. That's okay. The Sydney one is also really good. Oh, I, I know they're both very good computers. But this one, the game just seems... You know what? Maybe it's because there's no lag anymore because of the update and i'm like wow this computer just feels so much better <laughs> and it's just because the lag's gone now i think they are both the same oh well another thing is the monitors probably they're different i don't know I, I think this is all fixed, you guys. I'm not feeling any lag. So I'm really happy about this. 
I will check with um, my computer when I fly back to Sydney soon. If James decides to take me back after I wronged him and well it's really Bowser I wronged I gave him the the same kibble for breakfast and dinner so they said I must leave and I was banished the Sydney monitors are old and should be replaced well yeah whenever I turn on the computer sometimes the monitors don't really turn on and I have to like turn them off and on like 10 times before they work <laughs> which is your favorite room of the house to decorate i think hmm that's a hard question i think lounge rooms well actually are we talking in real life or in sims because that's probably different i think my favorite room to decorate would be um, yeah, the lounge room, the lounge room. Uh, I'm just trying to get up my dream house floor plan that I found online. So I think we should start a dream house build. He didn't eat his breakfast, it's sitting in his bowl. He's a, he's a very picky eater. You like decorating bathrooms? That is my least favorite. How are you liking for rent? I like it. I feel like I'm not as big on the gameplay. Like I feel like I wish there was more clarity with how your rentals are performing, I think. Um, cause it says the unit rating goes up and down, but I can't really see it. And also I wish the rental money came in, um, each day that I think that would be good. So that's, I think that I really like build mode. Um, What build style will Dreamhouse be in? Well, there's actually an existing company. I'm just in incognito mode, James, don't worry. There's a building company I found. Let me see. Uh, phew. Uh, hmm. Do, 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 do. Okay, so there's this building company I found where it's like off the plan homes, but they're exquisite architecture. They must be very expensive. But the idea is you choose the house and they only let a certain number of those houses be made. So like per design, maybe they allow 10 to be built and then no one else can buy that design. <laughs> no, it, we're on incognito babes. Um, so you choose the house, you adapt to the site, watch it grow a little bit. Anyway, it's too expensive, but I did see a floor plan of one and I was like, ooh, that's a dream house for me. Not that one. I like one story houses. Um, yeah, I really like this one. Look how pretty that is. Oh my God, can you imagine living in this? Honestly, this is a little too fancy for me. I would need it to look a little less fancy, I think. But I love the general idea of it. But where's the floor plan? Maybe I can't find it now. Uh, I think it was at the pavilion house I liked. Okay, I know the exterior is not that. I mean, I don't particularly like the exterior, but I like it's very Australiana from the side. And you know me, I like the light kitchen and colors. The big windows, yes, yes. And I love this. And the fireplace that divides the kitchen and the dining, it's kind of, that is a little mid-century, the, the style of that. But where's the floor plan? I found it somehow. 
Oh well, I'm just gonna have to build it from memory. We don't need a floor plan, we can build it ourselves. But anyway, you get the gist of it. And, ooh. Oh well, nothing on there anyway. Do, 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 do. There we go. Um, it's also beautiful, yeah. You're popping out, but you should be listening. Don't leave me, Jet. No, I'm kidding. That's cool. Oh. It's awkward. Ah! What did in the world? Okay. Now we gotta think about where is this dream house gonna be built? Where do I wanna live? We want to live near the beach. Brindleton Bay, perhaps. Oh, Tom Rang's pretty cool. And Sequoia. I think real we need Australian Sims worlds. It's time. <laughs> okay, I'll stay. No, no, James. I was kidding. You you don't have to stay. And I like how big are these houses? 40 by 40. We don't need a huge lot. But I'm sorry, Huckings. Love that sound so much. What about on the museum lot? Oh wow, like on the cliff? That's wild. James out here with his full name. Oh, okay, this lot is way too big. No, 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 no. Watching from Brazil? Hey! Hey! actually quite like this poor clinic lot. So I'm bulldozing the local vets. Does San Sequoia have an Australian vibe? Mm. What do you think, James? My, my initial thought is no, no. I don't know if this is really the location for the dream house. This whole stream is gonna be where do we build the dream house? Yeah, I know, just Chelsea. I know you're just you're just being cheeky. Cheeky chat. Okay, what about Tails End? My name isn't Duxing, it's so common. I get emails for the Pokemon designer. Okay, this is too big too. We're gonna have to do the 30 by 30, I think. See, I like, I like a nice sealed road. I've lived on a dirt road. Dirt roads are beautiful, but they are so impractical. <laughs> You're in a delicacy live, yay! Hey, Crystal, what's up? Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna live here. <laughs> Still not really. Perfect, but you know what? Let's just build. We can always move the house, can't we? Okay, so I'm also kind of thinking about the lot we currently have too in real life and the shape of it as well. Because realistically, probably wouldn't be able to afford to buy a new land and build a house. So if there was ever the chance of building a house, it'd probably be here. And I think the lot is usually lots in Australia are kind of this type of shape, but we're very lucky because we have a slightly wider driveway. Um, random people online have my name, but it it's rare as hell. Mm. Watching from the Sunshine Coast. Oh my gosh, love. Okay, so let's see. This is this is about the size. What do you think, James? Is that pretty good? Now we're gonna think a little bit practically, which usually we don't care about in The Sims. But the northern sunlight kind of comes this way, so and that's good in Australia because we're far down south in the globe. Northern light is like brighter and warmer. 
whereas the southern light is cooler and darker. So it's the opposite for a lot of you guys. Does that make sense? So what I'm trying to say is, yeah, this side of the house is gonna get the most light. Now, it's not necessarily something that everyone wants because it does mean in Australian summer it's hotter. So you might not like that. Why don't you download the one you already built then change it? It's a pretty good idea, but no. <laughs> no. Are you switching from Twitch streaming to YouTube streaming? Yeah, I found... Well, the thing is, I should probably set it up so I just go live on both, because we can do that now. Oh, I think I actually sent a floor plan to James. Probably just get the picture. Oh my gosh, we send many photos to each other. Oh, I found it! Yay, I found it. Okay. I can kind of work from it. They are mostly Bowser? What is mostly Bowser? Okay, you're actually popping out now. Are you coming to see me? All right, so this is going to be our garage. Sadly, we know we don't have garages in The Sims. Okay, real, real talk, you guys. Do you think we will ever get cars in The Sims 4? What do you really think? Do you think it will happen? Or do you think it's a no? Should probably be a touch longer. I don't know. I feel like surely we have to at some point, right? Oh, the pictures we send to each other are mostly about Bowser. Yes, yes. Also, it's a bit awkward because if we want to raise the house up a little bit, it'll raise the, the garage too, which is not ideal. Okay, so we've got a little entrance here. It's going to be a three bedroom, two bathroom house. They promote this room here at the front as a study, but would I was going to say would totally turn this into an office, <laughs> which is the exact same thing. Okay. This seems like a really big room. I think I got a little excited with it. Let's go like this. Then behind this is a bedroom. Yeah, I'd totally turn the study into an office. Totally so good holy moly that's a big bedroom oh actually it's not that big when you think about the built-in wardrobe um you don't think it would work without an open world to have cars really well think about sims 2 though you don't see the use, you think it's too late, they're unnecessary for current gameplay. Hmm. See, I don't think about Sims 3 that the cars are driving around. I think about Sims 2 where it's like, you can see your car drive out of the driveway and then you go to a loading screen. Like, I would be really happy with that because at least then I could build carports into my houses, even if they don't drive around like in The Sims 3. You get what I mean? But I think it's hard because people would be expecting The Sims 3 types, type of cars, I think, because that's the most recent. 
Your daughter's doing a project on Australia. She's so excited. Oh, I'm excited. That's so cool. I reckon a, an Australia pack would be really cool, but I know people would expect it to be <laughs> like kangaroos in the outback. <laughs> Which I would be down for, honestly. Any Australia themed pack I'm down for, Sims. In fact, I'm more than happy to personally work on it if need be. Just putting it out there. Actually, I'm driving a hire car at the moment. Because I, cause I just flew back for a few days. And I got an electric car. Um, yeah, quite enjoying it. It's the, I think it's the Evo, the Kia Evo 6. Is that right? Is that what it's called? Yeah, there's another bedroom here. Now this side of the house is like a main bedroom situation where there's this beautiful big bathroom. Ah! I don't know what happened here. I drew it from the fencing. Do you remember Get To Deligracy? Get To Deligracy. I'm not sure if I do. Get To Deligracy. Like a stream joke? I wouldn't mind an Aussie pack as long as there's no massive spiders. Knowing the Sims, they will definitely put in massive spiders. They just would. And if anyone's, oh, it, even, it has a Carrie Bradshaw kind of wardrobe bathroom situation. That's so cool. They would definitely have put spiders in an Australia pack. There's also a sliding door here to the bathroom, so we can close that off. There's a nice big bedroom here with a main bed. Love it. Oh God, we're running out of space. My voice has been breaking a lot recently. I don't have a sore throat or anything. I haven't been sick. It's really weird. Um, EV6, nice. EV6, yeah, is that what I said? Yeah, and I've got to say, it's a really um, nice, easy car to drive. It's very user friendly and I've been quite enjoying it. Then there's a courtyard here. Oh God, I think I've made this. It's not going to fit on the lot. We should have gone for a bigger lot. We can move the lot so nobody panic. Because then there's this courtyard section, which is really nice. And then we move into the living area over this way. And this is where we run out of room because this, this is, this is big. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of go for it here. The toilet, da -da -da, like that. Then we've got shower bathtub here courtyard and then you have like a dining area here yeah so if anyone's interested in that car having been test driving it I like it but it had the um is it called HUD where it's got the speedo like reflecting on the windscreen are you working off a blueprint daily? Like, kind of, yeah. I've got a floor, a rough floor plan here that I've been looking at. It doesn't translate to The Sims perfectly though. I was gonna say this. But it's a floor plan I found online that I really, really like. This house is long. It, yeah, it is pretty long. It's. That's what I mean by it doesn't really translate to The Sims that well. So we're on a 30 by 30. We need to do 40 by 30. HUD heads up display. Yeah, 
Do you guys drive with that? Because I didn't like it. I found it so distracting. It just wasn't for me. Oops, wrong one. This one. Aw, thanks Molly. I hope you're doing well and having a lovely day as well. I have one in my car, but I frequently forget it's there. You can change how bright it is. Yeah, I, I did play around with the settings. It takes some time getting used to, but it's very convenient. Oh, okay. I drove with it for about an hour and I was like, I can't do this and I turned it off. But maybe it, maybe it takes longer. I mean, we do have an ability to adapt to things. My brother has it, he loves it. Seems like it'd get in the way. Yeah, maybe it's a little bit to do with height. I don't know. You, you like can move it around a bit. But that, that was interesting to try. I do, it is fun to try. Um, another car. I was a bit nervous about driving a hire car. I don't think I've ever driven a hire car before. And I was like, I'm just nervous about it because it's not a car I'm used to. But I really liked it. <laughs> so I'm a hire car girl now. Do you know how to drive a manual? I do. My mum insisted both of her girls know how to drive a manual. So she, yeah, she deliberately had a manual so we would learn how to drive a stick. And my first car, well, the first car I drove was my sister's car at the time and it had it didn't have power steering. Power steering helps you turn the wheel. Cause if you don't have power steering, wheels are actually really hard to, to turn. You don't realize it if you've never experienced it before. And I remember trying to like do three point turns and going like this. Oh, what's a hire car? A, a rental car, a rental car. Like you're, you're hiring it. You're renting it. It's probably not what it's called in all uh, countries. That's awesome. That's one of my goals is to learn how to drive a manual. It's really fun. Driving manual is really fun. And I think what's good about it also is it keeps you, you have to be more alert because you're changing gears. Yeah, manuals are really fun. It is harder though. Ooh, my American is showing. <laughs> That's all right. So we have our courtyard here, bathroom here. The bathroom's actually meant to be more in line with this room, so... I don't know, maybe I'll just make this a little bigger. Make that a little bigger and... That's probably a good size. Um... Yeah, I want to build this house. I've only ever had manual cars and it's so fun. Is it in um, the UK? Manual cars are a lot more common. Is that a thing? I could be making it up, but I vaguely remember someone saying the UK still has a lot more manual vehicles. Without power steering, your sister must be so strong if that's her regular car. She doesn't have it anymore, but when we were younger. Well, mom used to have the car and then gave it to my sister. Well, my sister bought it off my mom. And my mom had driven us on like three days of 10 hour drives in that car. And it was tiny. It was a little Daewoo Lanos. 
In Sweden, it's very common. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. In UK, there's more manual. Yeah, why is that? That's quite interesting, isn't it? Is it to do with just what's available? Or is there like a more practical reason why that's the case? I just find all of this type of thing so fascinating. This is the the fire the risen fireplace. But I think I would like just an electric fireplace for a number of reasons. One, because I feel like as beautiful as a, a normal fire is, it takes a bit of work to keep it going and to move the wood around. Um, that's one thing. But I think the other thing is because I get asthma with smoke, probably not the best for me. And a bit of pollution, I suppose, too. So yeah, I'd, I'd probably myself be better suited to just a little electric one, even though the real thing is so nice. Hi, Deli, just hopping on. Hey! I prefer automatic, but they're more expensive in the UK for some reason. That's how it always was in Australia for ages. I'm not sure if that's changed now, but that definitely used to be the case where it was more expensive to get an automatic vehicle. So it was cheaper to get manual, so you may as well get a manual, right? Uh, which headset to use? Um, I'm using... Bang & Olufsen headset. Um, yes, this is my... second one of these I, I had a pink set my first one didn't have any delay but this one does via bluetooth so that's the only thing that's a bit of a shame but yeah the older model didn't have that issue so I don't know I don't know This is gonna be our little TV area. Don't worry, we're gonna change all the furniture. We probably will use custom content furniture for this. I think the dream house build requires it. You could have a gas fireplace that is fully enclosed. Oh, Abigail, I didn't even think about that. So, does that still have a chimney that let Wait, I'm confused. What's it? Is it just like an electric fireplace, but it's gas? Or is it like you still put logs in it and it burns? This lot has enough space for a little garden flat to rent out. Mm. Mm. It's gas that burns, not real wood burning. Interesting. The logs are for looks. Okay, so it's it's kind of a similar concept to the the electric one. I feel like if you don't have any asthma issues, how nice to have a real fireplace. And if you know you're able to get the firewood and started and all of that. Nothing really beats a, the real deal, does it? I, at the moment, I'm, you know how on YouTube you can watch, whoa, this looks massive. Oh, what I really like about this kitchen, kimchin, is that there's a butler's pantry. There is, so there's a wall that runs like this. 
And then behind here is the butler's pantry. That would be cool. You can hide all your appliances here. Actually, I think one side of it is, I think this is the laundry. That's actually quite a small laundry though. I mean, I guess it's all you need though. I just, it would be luxurious to have a bit more bench space in a laundry or like some kind of basket shelving or I don't know. I don't know. You literally do it to stay warm. Well, that's another reason to have a fireplace. <laughs> I have a gas insert fireplace. One is open and one is enclosed. Hmm. Classic deli house equals butler's pantry. I I'm telling you, not enough simmers include their but include butler's pantries. Okay, then there's some kind of cupboard 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 storage here. And then there's a lovely kitchen bunch, bunch. Oh my gosh, I just want to build this house in real, I would love to build a house in real life. Oh, I'd be so cool. There's not enough space here, is there? A big bench, that's a deli bench. Deli's blue suburban is is a butler's pantry. <laughs> it's so true. No homes where I live have central heating. Hmm. It's you know it's interesting because when you live a certain way, it doesn't even cross your mind sometimes that other places may have certain things or may not have certain things that you're used to. But it's, um, it's so different all around the world. I was speaking to my mum last night and she was saying at work, there's a few, a few girls around your age. And she's like, and I've noticed like a colloquial language thing, like a lingo that I only hear with girls your age, where they say a lot, I feel like when they're discussing things. Like, I feel like this is this. And she's like, I know you do that too. And I thought about it, I was like, oh yeah, you don't hear that from older generations like that. I feel like, have you guys noticed that? I don't know. I feel like, oh, I just said it. <laughs> That's it. Well, James, you heard the girl. Oh my gosh. Building a house in Australia. Ugh, so expensive. That's it. It's just, it just might not happen. <laughs> Now I'm going to be hyper aware of every time I say it, right? Right? Janelle, thanks so much for becoming a member. And Connette, thank you so much for becoming a member as well. Yeah, living in the South, I couldn't imagine not having central heat in air. Mm. I think we have the freedom to actually get in touch with our emotions more, whereas older generations that might have not been the case, maybe. I think it's just like a lingo, you know, monkey see monkey do, like you hear other people doing it and then you just pick it up. Like I feel like when you're trying to express and explain something. You know, part of me would really love a polished concrete floor, but that would be really hard on the back and joints, right? Like if you have arthritis or your pet does, I've lived with a really harsh concrete floor before and my ankles would ache. Do you guys 
live with concrete flooring? Is there a way of doing it where it doesn't hurt your joints? Heated floors would be nice. James will find an abandoned factory somewhere. He sometimes, occasionally, he'll send me like a factory that's for sale. It'd be too expensive, but it's cool to, it's cool to dream. Water heated floor is very nice. You can get them a cushion. Hardwood floors would be hard on your joints. That's why I like the engineered wooden flooring because it's not as harsh. Like it's a bit of wood, but it's not fully wood. Like it's not thick, thick wood. Slippers. Yeah, but you can still feel it through the slippers. I mean, I see the concrete in a lot of these modern homes. And I think, oh, how it looks. I mean, I like the look of it. It'd be so easy to clean. Like you said, you can have the under flooring heater. Like, oh, that'd be really nice. I just remember that one apartment I lived in and it was not very nice. Uh, most engineered flooring has different thickness of padding underneath. I like it. Uh, yeah, well, that's why it feels a lot better, I think. I've also realized, I've come to the conclusion, I like dark bathrooms with um, lighter hardware. Like I'd go silver or brushed hardware. Because if you have black hardware, like a black handles, which we have in our bathroom, um, they get really, really dusty. Even if you just dust them, like three days later, they're fully dusty again. I think it'd be really cool to, okay, if you had, okay, okay. If I had a house that I could build and money wasn't really an issue. This is the real dream house. I would totally make it a more sustainable home and have passive heating and cooling. So even if your aircon breaks or if it's too expensive, it's, you just don't have, or just for the environment's sake, you don't have to use lots of electricity to heat and cool your house. That would be one thing that would be really cool. Um, but the other thing is universal design, which is where you think about, like, for example, having a corridor that's a little bit wider so you're, a wheelchair can fit down it if at any point, you know, someone in a wheelchair is living in the house. Like I'd employ universal design too, because I just think, oh, that's really smart. Or like they design the house so you don't have handlebars on the walls or anything, but there's space for it. I just think that's so cool. Or if you live in a two story house, having room to one day be able to put an elevator in. That's what I would do if I had the money to. And then I'd probably make a full doomsday bunker <laughs> as well. <laughs> Carpet is cushy, but some carpet is evil. Yeah. I mean, I'll have carpet later on in life, but right now, while I don't need to, I don't want it. <laughs> oh, did that come out today, Bearden? I didn't know. I mean, some people might say the idea of universal design is just really unnecessary, but I just think it's a nice idea. Why not? Why not if money isn't an issue? Is someone... What is that sound? I feel like someone's trying to make their own mulch next door. Doomsday bunker must have, yes. And our insulation would be insane if money wasn't an issue. Like I'd get quadruple glazed windows. <laughs> okay, maybe, well, at least triple glazed. 
I don't know much about quadruple glazing, to be honest. With a butler's pantry, I mean, obviously. It's 11.30 in the morning here. I feel like this needs to, I feel like, oh no, I'm gonna notice every single time I say it now. I feel like. It was so good seeing mom yesterday. Oh. We got Indian takeaway. It's very nice, very nice. Um, we got butter chicken. We got a korma, I think, and a dal. Very nice. Yes to universal design. Why would you not make a home as efficient and widely usable, if possible, and money isn't an object? That's what I'm saying. Totally. I'd like to have a pocket sliding door. Actually, no, pocket sliding doors can be really annoying to fix. I feel like if you build a house, any of you guys who have had experience with it, or if you do architect, architecture or design or something, you, you know how you kind of need someone to, I guess it, if you have a project manager or a building manager to oversee stuff, you really need someone to make sure things are done properly and it, things line up. And I feel like if I project managed a house and there were builders and stuff and they were doing stuff and something was a bit wrong, I'd be like, ah, it'll be fine. <laughs> and then I'd end up with this really higgledy piggledy house that wasn't built right. Cause I'm just like impatient Aries. I feel like uh, James would have to be the perfectionist and keep it on track. Yeah, Jack of all games. Brindleton Bay is probably my favorite world. I think it's the world I go to the most other than Willow Creek. I know what door to put here. I really wish these doors had different handles. But it's nice for people who like those kinds of doors. We're not gonna have a glass door. Who wants to wipe down a glass door? I can barely clean a mirror or a shower screen. Hey, Sixum! Wait, Sixum's here? Hey, nice to see you. Gotta have that butler's pantry. Maybe our merch design should be something about Butler's Pantry. Like, I, I don't know, justice for Butler's Pantry. Um, what I want in life is a Butler's Pantry. <laughs> We're gonna have to workshop it a little bit, I think. Glass anything is a nightmare. Do you guys remember when I had a glass desk? I mean, girl, what were you thinking? A glass desk. It, okay, I know some of you guys probably have a glass desk and you probably have the capacity to keep it nice. For me, it was the worst. It was just constantly icky. Is she an Aries? Yes. Textbook Aries right here. Except for the being able to win an argument thing. That That's a no from me. It is very long. Like this is a big corridor. Do we like that? I mean, I guess, hmm. It is interesting to see it in The Sims. All I want for Christmas is a butler's pantry. 
If I lived alone, I would love glass because I know it wouldn't get touched. Look, if you can keep it clean, and or you or if you're not bothered by it getting a bit smeary, that's great. Just for me, it drove me nuts. <laughs> I didn't know. I think I, I think my problem is I'm not really a perfectionist with keeping stuff clean. Like I'm, you guys know I'm a grub a lot of the time. But I think it's more like, nah, I don't even know. I think I care too much what people think. Like, I'd worry about how things look, maybe. I can't place this. Girl, same. Yeah, how do you not worry about what people think? Because my whole life is, you know, it's, it's always a worry. How do you not care? Your house is not a museum. That's true. That's true. I like marble because it hides imperfections. This is not working. Whenever someone says this is not working or I think about that, um, that line, like it's not working, I always think about in Sex and the City, the original series, one big, is at the furniture show and runs into Carrie and Aiden and he's flirtatious with Carrie and he's like, he rolls up a newspaper, he's like, it's not working, I'm getting out. And he's talking about his relationship with Natasha, but I'm always like in my head, it's not working, I'm getting out. <laughs> um. Oh, hey, Abigail, that's cool. I think a wood beam ceiling would suit the house. It probably would. Pro tip, never have guests over. If I don't know what someone's thinking, I don't bother worrying about it because I could be entirely wrong. Steph, you should be a psychiatrist, a psychologist. That is good advice. That's what I need to hear. Oh, congratulations, Sammy. You got your dream job this week. I get to use my degree and work in the music industry. Wow. That's fantastic. Congratulations. And best of luck. Have you watched Gilmore Girls? No, Gilmore Girls is on my list to watch. It's just caring about what the right people think. Yeah. Well, it's just... It's a... I'm a work in progress, okay? We, most of us are. Oh my gosh. That ceiling looks like the darkness of space. Okay, I did not realize how dark that was. Um, yeah, I need to watch Gilmore Girls. I'm just not sure about this corridor. I've gotta be honest, you guys, I just don't know. I'm not sure if this is, if I'm vibing with this dream. Okay, let's do some nice big windows. Um, I'm just about to finish Sopratos. You know, I've realized a weird thing. What color windows do I wanna have? It would be nice to have beautiful timber windows, but is timber practical? Especially near the beach, no, because salt erodes timber really quickly, so you'd be better with aluminium or steel. I don't know which one. You guys who are good at science will know. <laughs> I haven't watched Below Deck. Is that where they're like on a boat they're on a boat and it's, oh wait, no, is Below Deck where they flirt heaps on a boat? 
I think it's safe to say I have not seen it. <laughs> you can imagine it's fake wood. True. Technology these days. Yes, I hear here, Nomad. New Year is coming, so hopefully it's a good year for all of us. What are you guys doing for New Year's? The question, the most annoying question that gets asked every year. I think I will probably spend New Year's with Dr. Gluon <laughs> on his live stream. <laughs> It doesn't rust in sea salt? Steel. Okay, we're getting steel windows. That's the dream. It's durable. It won't erode from salt air from the beach. Watching Gluon, watching Gluon. Okay, so apparently a lot of us are spending New Year's together. Love that. That's great. Okay, so we would have the main bedroom. Then we would have two offices. And I was gonna say something cheeky, but I won't because the street is sponsored. Um, and a guest room. It's good to have a guest room if possible, you know? For many reasons, so. Which should be James's office? We could make this James's office. <laughs> no, we're kidding. Yeah, Doc Stream is a great way to bring in the new year. It's fantastic. You will never regret it. He rings in the new, he celebrates the new year for every continent. It's great. We're gonna have the best new years together. Oh my gosh, imagine if James and I flew to Iowa and we were just there physically for the stream as well. That would be so cool, but it's definitely not going to happen this year. What happened with the lighting here? I did not understand. I just don't know about this corridor. I think we need another little courtyard moment. It's almost like we need another cutout here. I think the thing is in real life, how this floor plan would translate is this corridor isn't as long, but in the Sims to fit in the necessary furniture, it's a lot longer. So I might actually shorten it. So it looks better in game. Jealous your app is working? As in The Sims? I really need to see a vlog of Deli and James in Iowa. Oh my gosh, it would be iconic. Be cool. Like, people say there's nothing to do in Iowa, but honestly, when I go to, ho when I travel, Part of traveling that I like most is not all the tourism crazy stuff because I have terrible travel anxiety. I'm fine on planes, but actually being in new locations, I'm like, I find it very difficult to relax. It's like I'm always in fight or flight mode. And so for me, it's the really little simple things that I enjoy while traveling, like going to the supermarket in another country is so fun to me. Cause it's like, it looks so different. So I like little things. So I feel like Iowa would be perfect. Why don't you half the corridor and put an arch in the middle? Could do, could do. If you like boring, try Idaho or Iowa. Yeah, same for me. Yeah, chill. That's my style. I suppose I, I probably get overwhelmed easily with traveling. Whereas most people travel to do epic stuff. Well, I think we've made a good start on the latest dream house. And you know what else would be in the dream house? I think it'd be cool to have a lap pool. 
I used to be really anti pools. But now <laughs> I like the idea of a lap pool just to swim some laps. Yeah. I think the only chaos would be from the glue kids. <laughs> well, I like kids, so that's good. Yeah, to see the way everyday things are in other places. Yeah. This coffee really blocked up my nose because I got a large. Oh, sorry, Alexis. I know how you feel. I think it's nice to be honest about travel anxiety for those of us who have it. And because I feel like it's easy to feel like, well, if I get anxious while traveling, I shouldn't travel. Whereas there's ways to travel and be comfortable. It just means you have to change it a little bit to what maybe other people enjoy about it. Okay, so we'll put a lap pool in. Dream house would be salt water. Love it. Um, yeah. I read online that saltwater pools aren't as expensive as people think to maintain. I just always assumed it'd be way more expensive. Don't know if that's true though. I can't imagine maintaining a pool being easy or cheap or not wasteful. Yeah, well, this is the dream house. So this is like if money didn't matter. <laughs> but a lot of people who I know who have pools are constantly maintaining them. Actually, I should speak to Sasha because Sasha got a pool and I think she's loving it. Like she's really enjoying it. So yeah, I'd be interested to know. Um, oh, that's so sad, Hannah. Went to the Maldives, spent an hour on the bathroom floor trying not to vomit. Oh, I feel you. I know exactly how it feels. It's rough, but good job for getting through it. It's true because there isn't the massive chlorine and chemical upkeep. Saltwater pools are also better if you have joint problems. That's, yeah, for joint and skin. That's, I like the idea. You know me. I'm a sucker for the organics. Uh, Ronnie, YouTube stream baby. Yay. Thanks so much for the nine months, Ronnie. I appreciate it. Yeah, 6M for sure. I think because recently I've realized I need more lower intensity exercise. Swimming sounds like a really good idea. And that's why I like the idea of it now. We love organics, we do. I can't swim because of a disability. Well, then you don't need an expensive pool and that's not such a bad thing, is it? <laughs> 70 plus today in Texas? What's that, like 28? Now I'm curious, I'm gonna Google it. I'm gonna Googs. 70F2C is, oh, 21. That's nice. That's nice weather. All right, well, I'm gonna have a tinkle because that coffee has gone through me. Oh, there's still more left. Heck yeah. I always have a habit of drinking stuff when I'm busting. I feel like that doesn't really go together. Um, fair, or I could just fling my wheelchair into the pool. Um, I wouldn't advise it. But, I don't know, actually are there wheelchairs for pools? Because couldn't you have, could you have like a track in the pool where you're still moving in the wheelchair, but you still have the benefit of the water and all your muscles? I wonder. Honestly, that doesn't sound that crazy to me. I feel like it sounds like a good idea. Yeah, my YMCA used to have them and pool lifts. You're just topping it off, then when you go tinkle, you can get it done all at once. Exactly! <laughs> you don't get to move as freely, yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure there would be benefits to that too. What is so great? 
um, my stepdad, he goes swimming in the ocean that literally faces Antarctica. Like, it faces south. It's not like the northern parts of Australia. It's like down towards Tasmania. And he'll go swimming in winter in the water. He gets like a, a long sleeve wetsuit, which we call steamers here. He goes swimming in them and he's like, you know, he's not a young, young guy anymore. <laughs> and he's up there swimming in winter. He's crazy, but he loves it. All right, I'm gonna save this. It's cuckoo. Remember I went swimming in an autumn once. It felt really good, but it was very cold. I don't know. I don't know about plunge pools either. I just, yeah, it's probably not for me. Love a sauna, <laughs> but I'll skip. I'll skip the plunge pool. Did you warn him about your let's play, Grandpa? I did not. No, no, I didn't. Um, no. I don't think I will. He doesn't need to know about that. Ignorance is bliss. I really, really appreciate and admire you, Deli. Oh, thank you, Madison. I really, really appreciate you guys and I admire you too. Gone too soon. Yeah. Yeah, that was, you know, that wasn't obviously the plan. <laughs> it was quite a disaster actually. Um. Yeah, it wasn't my finest, my finest moment. <laughs> uh, poor Oppa. Rip Oppa. Maybe best not to warn him. Yeah. Uh, Bows is in Sydney with James. Yeah. <gasps> Capybara! Capybara, capybara, cap have you guys heard the capybara song? Capybara, 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 capybara. <laughs> Good time. I miss his little snores, I know. And when we come back here, he's just not really interested in sitting in this office for whatever reason. He likes the other office because he can look out the window. But this window is too high up. And it's not interesting outside, so yeah. Yeah. Happy bar song is so good. So good. Okay. I am going to tinkle. I'll be back in a sec. Don't go anywhere. Oh! I'm sorry. I don't know what happened there. Okay, I'll be back in a sec.
Capybara, capybara, capybara. Okie dokie, I'm back. Um, so yeah, thank you so much to Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring today's stream. Um, if you guys would like to check out Disney Dreamlight Valley, there is a link in the description down below. Um, my special link. And what else do I need to tell you guys? A new expansion pass came out. Disney Dreamlight Valley, A Rift in Time. And that's what we're playing today. And there's also been a new update as well. So I'm excited to play because I haven't played it for a little while. <sighs> I love this game. Capybara. Have you heard the last Beatles song? No. Did you wash your hands, Deli? Of course I did. It was just a speedy, speedy bathroom break. I do wash my hands. Oh no, Olaf. Ah! <laughs> okay, we need to catch the flying gears that are around the place. Also, I know it looks like sunset here. Oh my gosh, I have so... With the update and the new expansion pass, there are so many things we need to do. Like, look at all of the quest symbols. There's so much to do now. I'm 32 and I have like 300 hours in Dreamlight Valley. Yay! We are born in the same year. That's cool. 91, baby. The last one makes me want to cry. Really? Please don't cry. Oh, and check this out. I got this house. I saw it on the store and I was like, I have to have that. So this is our new house as well. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, look, it's going to need a little bit of work. We do have a storage chest with some apples in it, which is nice. Uh, why don't we... You know what? I'm going to use this storage chest to put some of the local flora in here. I like to put the local flora in... chests in each um, part of the world. Is my music on in this? Streamer friendly mode is off. Oh my gosh, we need that on. Yeah, we need our music on. It's like, where's my musics? That's better. Oh, yeah, I haven't checked the store this week. Oh, there's a Christmas town train. Fairy wings, bells, royals, tools. I've already got the summer Scrooge. I was like, I need that. Sorry, I keep speaking in, in Bowser voice. Hmm. Well, we do have a, a whole new house to furnish here. How much decorating have you done to your valley? Well, I haven't done really anything in this new section. I've only, really, I haven't even had a chance to play any more of this since our last stream because I was pre-recording so many videos um, to come down to Melbourne. So I've been really looking forward to this. I also really want to open Scrooge's store. Where are you, Scrooge? Whee! Hey, I've got a job for you. Got a job for you. I'm glad to see many new potential customers about. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Good day. Oh, wow. So many quests. <laughs> hey, Lily, how are you doing? That train is huge and it moves, really? Should I get that? <gasps> Guys, I spoke to my therapist because I, I go to therapy each week. And I was, you know, in therapy, you talk day to day about what you're up to. And I was like, oh, yeah, I have a stream. Um gonna play Disney Dreamlight Valley and she was like oh, the new expansion pass and I was like yeah and she's like oh how good is it she's like I'm hooked my daughter's hooked and then I feel like she remembered she was in there like doing a session and she's like anyway <laughs> so Penny is a fan uh -huh. we can't afford a money bin Scrooge Bye -bye. 
Okay. We need the we need the garden in the desert, new ventures. Forgotten lands, rebuild the valley. Uh -huh. Is it this one? <laughs> no, no, no. That's in the Forgotten Lands. Oh no. Let's just open all the quests. I I really want to open Scrooge's store here. New maybe it's new ventures. Oh yes. Okay, I already had a sign to give him. I think we're on the right chat. She's probably watching. Ah. Yeah, I wonder if she's ever looked at the content. I don't reckon she has. Penny's a gamer, let's go. Yeah, she really likes Disney Dreamlight Valley. Oh, there's the flying gears. I found another one of your shops on Eternity Isle. I had, and it had this sign on it. It would be a great <laughs> opportunity. Glad to hear you're thinking in terms of new ventures, Deligracy, but this one isn't exactly new. I am afraid even the best laid business plans aren't always a roaring success. What? Scrooge must be like, if I knew Scrooge in real life, I would totally go to him for business advice. <laughs> cold plunges are the best, really? They're so uncomfortable though, it's so cold. <laughs> That shop was one of my few failures. Oh. I decided to open this shop too early and too late, not long after Eternity Isle was discovered when villagers first started to settle here. They were more interested in the scenery than the shopping. Well, that's a problem. Let's go see the shop on Eternity Isle. I'll decide what to do there. Right now, we have work to do. Mm. Okay, where's that gear? Ah! No, 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 not Eve, not Eve. I need that gear. Oh, well. Eve, are you having trouble re relaxing? You should be oh. You're a very good leader. Why don't I use my own scanner, my camera, to make sure there are no dangers so you won't have to worry? Oh, that's so sweet. I'll take pictures of any possible dangers around the docks to show they're not a sweat, a threat. I'll start with that giant tree with the hanging lanterns near the wall. So that's another, that's another quest. So, ugh, I'm going to have to be doing a lot of Disney Dream Lighting. Where's that gear? Aha. Eh. Jesus, quick. Got him. Okay. All right. I think we've got all the sundials in our inventory. Nine of them. Do we need nine of them? Hmm. I hope that's enough. Okay, where is Rapunzel? Over here. Okay, we'll jump over this way. Hop, step, and a jump. She's a cool therapist? Yeah. Yes, Penny, mental health and video games. We love a dynamic duo. Yeah, I got lucky with my Penny. You know, her real name's not Penny. We just called her Penny for whenever I talk about it on streams. She's named after Penny Pizzazz. And um, that it just stuck. And I swear I have to be really careful not to call her Penny in therapy. Cause she'll be like, why are you calling me Penny? <laughs> Deli about to multiplay with her therapist. Oh my gosh. I should be like, let's multiplay. <laughs> that would be so funny. Hello. The sundial, what should I do? You found everything we need for the sundial. Yay. Talking to you. Wait, I must not have it all. Can I see the gears? Make sure you have all the sundial gears in your inventory. Can I see the gears? How do I show her the gears? Bye. Come back and talk soon. Yeah, it can be hard, Julia. Once you find someone, then it's not so bad. We there must be. I feel like there should be ten because nine seems like a weird number. I must have put it in a chest somewhere. Huh, it's a bit of a problem. Might jump back. You need ten. Okay. 
Yes. I'll check. Where did I put that gear? Why would I have put it in a storage thing? In a storage box. There is a box somewhere around here, I think. Did I you pop it in here? Try. No. Did I put it in the other house? This is a problem, you guys. Since when can you surf around like that and how? It, it was in an update a while ago. No, there's just flowers in here. Is it possible I didn't find the tenth one? No, it would say to keep looking if I hadn't found it. Damn it, did I put the sun, the, <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, this is such a problem. Could I have put it? Where we found, um, Gaston? Did you put some in storage? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I was missing three. I didn't know if I put them in myself, but they were in a chest. Oh. Okay. Dang it, I've misplaced them. <laughs> this is so annoying. I was like, oh, we just need to find like one more and then we'll be ready. Was there a chest near Gaston? I'm gonna put them. Is Wally in Dreamlight Valley? Yes, we love Wally. Do you have a chest over here? Oh, might grab that while we're here. Let's grab this. Yeah, Wally's here. He's really cute. Looks like I'm stuck. Nobody conquers nature like me with some. Be fine on my own. Love the confidence. Hey, Gaston. Oh, chest. Is it over here? What is this? Is a homemade glue. Well, we'll need that. Maybe I put it in the actual regular Dreamlight Valley. I'm so bored. I even would read a book, I think. Oh, Gaston. Ooh, coconuts. Well, looks like we've got some things for him, but I just, I really want to focus on these gears first. I'm going to jump. I think we'll go back to, um, the village. Hey, how about we do something together? Hey, well, we will when I find this gear. Okay, let's go back. Jump in our little boat. Good night for all who's going to bed. I'll catch up tomorrow. All right, Julie, thanks for coming. I hope you have a really cozy and lovely sleep. Oh my gosh, I slept so well yesterday. I mean, last night. I was so exhausted because I flew down. I got up at like six to walk Bowser early in Sydney because it was a hot day yesterday. And then I flew down to Melbourne and then I got on an earlier flight, luckily, because the next flight that I was meant to be on got canceled. I just had a feeling. Oh, and if you guys haven't tried the multiplayer yet, this is the multiplayer. I forgot what they called it, but it's like the object you need for someone else to come into your valley. So that's what it looks like. We tested it out with Gluon the other day, or last week on stream. Oh, Ronnie, I hope you feel better soon. Ah, oh, love this so much. Such a great scene, such a great scene. And you get the multiplayer object through Penelope. Just so you guys know, in case you didn't. There's a link in the description that takes you to the DDLV homepage if you're interested in reading up on it. Yes, yes, you can use my link to find out more. Thank you, Juju. Juju, the gumbo! Did it work that time? Okay, 
So, chest, chest. Could have been down here somewhere. Did James say where he was going? I'm just curious now. There are, I'm going to check all of these. No. What happens if I can never find the gear? That would be a problem. It did work, yay! Oh boy. So I remember we did multiplayer with Gluon. And I was showing him the world. So I don't know if I just threw it into one of these at some point. Actually, you know what I can do? I can go back and watch the stream and find where I put it. Because you can't watch back the stream. So I might actually have to do that. Because I don't know where else I would have put it. For some reason, my brain, Melbourne is further north than Sydney, even though I know looking at the majority map, but Melbourne is south. Yeah. Just remember Melbourne is cold, so it's closer to Antarctica. So Melbourne is southern. I really don't know what to do, you guys. I have no idea where this gear is. Maybe we need to pursue a different quest and just hope we run into it. Is it, what are these things? What is this? What are you? Those just rocked up since the last update as well. So I don't know what's going on there. I want to say in the first chest on the aisle, there was a gear. Hmm. I didn't know anywhere in Australia could be considered cold. I mean, in the scheme of things, it's really not very cold in Australia. There's very few places where we get snow. La 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 la, la la la. Hey. Hey. Fast travel, there we go. Now we'll go back to the docks again. Lucky you. Yeah, we just don't really get much snow. So yeah, that means that it doesn't, like the lowest it gets here is probably negative four. And that would be in the middle of the night on the coldest night in winter for Melbourne. And then Tasmania is probably colder. Well, it can get a bit colder. Okay, so the first chest, I think we already looked at. Which was this one. But there's nothing in there. Were there any other chests? Hi. Oh, Do I have accidentally put it in here? In Eve's house? Hey, Delia's vibe. Hello, Saskia. What's up? Is this stream free to watch? Yeah. Sure is. Um, Jules, is seasonal affective disorder a thing in Australia? I'm from Canada, so it's very common. Um, hey Eve, I love the music in here. Yeah, I, I think it is. I don't know if it would be as common and to the same degree, but I, I think people, when they don't get sunshine, they can definitely feel it. I have one friend who does feel it a lot when they don't get sunshine, if there's a lot of cloudy days. Like, even if it's hot, but cloudy, they, yeah, they feel pretty down. I could use some help. Well, I would love to help you, but right now I can't. I have to find this dang gear. We already checked the chest like three times in here, so it must not be in here. No. Really enjoying the LP? Yay, I'm glad to hear. I'm enjoying it too. All right, well, perhaps we move on to this quest. Look around the camp for clues to the vault's keys whereabouts. Let's go back to the camp. 
so funny how he has his little camp. Um, it's so cold. How cold is it where you guys are? Today, I think, is... Actually, how warm is it today where I am? I don't even know. <laughs> it's seven. It's 18 degrees here. And it's midday. In Sydney, it's probably 27 degrees Celsius today. Yesterday was hot. Actually, they said in Sydney that... Ugh, I hate that snake. Um, they said in Sydney that... could They asked people to use their washers, dryers, and dishwashers less yesterday, so there was less stress on the electricity grids. Okay, show Gaston what we've, we've found. That's pretty bad, actually. Um, do you want to give these items a paint palette, homemade glue, and coconut husks? Hmm, paint palette. Look at Gaston. I like Gaston. He's funny. I'm like a reptile. I need a heat lamp. I found some stuff around your encampment huh. while you were napping. Nap! I had a mighty and much deserved rest. <laughs> I have to remember that when I nap next. If someone's like, did you have a nap? I'll be like, I had a mighty and much deserved rest. <laughs> Not a nap. I like, I personally like igloo, like being in an igloo. I've become accustomed to it with Bowser. Bowser started moving to all the rooms that didn't have aircon on because we <laughs> made it too cold, I think. He surprisingly likes a lot of warmth. Maybe even more than we do at times. While you were resting, I didn't find the vault key, but I found these. Mm -hmm. Oh, that. Those are from... I have no idea what those are. Oh, they must be Rapunzel's paints. Never seen them before. Well, it kind of sounds like they're yours. <laughs> what? Don't be ridiculous. I don't play with craft items. I hunt. And I do other things requiring immense strength. True. I can't see you doing arts and crafts. Yeah, I can't see that. Uh, of course you can't. Now we should search my shipwreck next. Your what? Shipwreck. Ages ago, I left my home and took to the high seas in search of adventure. Uh, but my ship was blown off course during a storm and caught a massive tidal wave. Uh, Thanks to my natural nautical talents and impressive physique, I survived. I just love his confidence, you know? I think we could all learn some self-love from Gaston. The wave pushed my vessel for inland and this strange desert. Mm -hmm. I've been ruling it ever since. Good thing I came when I did. Oof, it's only five degrees where you are. That's cold. Okay, that's a little too cold. I can get down in the dumpsters too when I don't get much sun. It seems to be quite common. Like I said, even in warm areas, if it's just cloudy for a few days and overcast, I was going to free it right before you appeared. My shipwreck is in the wastes, but I can't get through those blasted time rifts. The wastes. They suddenly showed up and got in my way. I can handle those. Leave it to me. I just need to get some more mist for my hourglass. So the hourglass is Move this along. new tool that came with, with the expansion pass. And it's pretty cool. Check this out. You wave it, and then the direction of the sparkles you follow and it gets warmer and warmer until you reach a point where you can pull an ancient artifact out of the ground. So, just finding some parts with the hourglass. Ah, that snake looks like it's gonna bite me. Ah! Ah! Oh, we also need to cook up some more fishy fish. Arendellian pickled herring. So the reason why we want to eat more, even though our energy bar is already full, is if we can get some high quality food, we can lift our energy bar in from blue to yellow. And that gives us the ability to zoom around on our hover, on our hover sparkles. So I'll eat this now and show you guys. In the top left, you can see the blue bar. That's energy. Ugh, that's snake. Ah. 
<laughs> it's really, I don't like this camp. So let's eat and watch that blue bar go into yellow. Oh, look at that. And now if we press B on the controller, we can zoom around. Pretty cool. Yeah, I, ha I have a capybara as a pet. It's like a little Rapunzel capybara. So cute. Okay, search for mist with your hourglass or access the dreamlight menu and investigate your new mist duties. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, so now we have mist duties. Harvest three strawberries, take a picture, sell three vegetables, bring two gifts. Hmm. Ooh, find a time bending gift. Interesting. Okay. Well, let's take a picture. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Do you want to pose guest? Oh, oh yes. Oh, we could look a little happier. <laughs> okay, we look really uh, not confident, but I kind of love it. Um, must go now, love catching you live. Oh, thanks for coming, Jules. Hope you have a good weekend. Yeah, let's save this picture. Yay, we got a little bit of mist. A little bit of a picture. We need to catch some eels and get coins. Let's have a discussion with Gaston. Just just a daily. Oh. You're leaving? You're leaving. That's how I feel when Bowser leaves the room. Like you're leaving me. I hey Minnie! For you to stop by sometime. Oh, Minnie. Do you like living here? I've been thinking of writing a song, but I'm having trouble of thinking of a good name for it. What about Let It Go? Ooh. Sounds familiar. How sweet. <laughs> How sweet. How sweet. Dreamlight. Woohoo. Oh. Okay, let's see if we can get some eels. Do you guys know which color? Is this lava? Or sand. You know which color is the eels? Oh wow. Oh wow. Minnie is adorable. She we love Minnie. Maybe yellow has eels. It is quicksand. So I learned that quicksand is just like it's kind of fictional. It's not really something that actually exists. I thought it was a real thing. Like that there, there's kind of quicksand, but you can escape from it. Like it's not actually gonna suck you in. Oh my life. I thought it was real. And you had to be careful of it. I took a quick look at your last stream. It looks like you found eight gears last time. How many did you get today? Really? Oh, I, you know what? I reckon I may have grabbed one when I was getting out of the game. I did run around in the game because I couldn't help myself just for a little while, but not for very long. So I may have picked up another gear between both streams. You thought quicksand was gonna be a problem too? Okay, I'm glad I'm not the only one. I did not know that. One Big Toe. Also, I love the name One Big Toe for some reason. Quicksand is real, but it's impossible to sink more than about waist depth. Oh, okay. Well, that's more real than I thought. Whoa, that's cool. That's, that's definitely more real than I thought it was. I thought it was like a few centimeters <laughs> deep. I also didn't see you place them anywhere. This is a real mystery, you guys. I might look up on the forums if anyone else had the same thing happen. Because it could be possible. Hmm. 
that it wasn't me. <laughs> I just don't want to take blame for it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the eels are going to be in water now that we've like fished all around there. Actually, I might do another mist, little mist look around. The missing gear is a bug at the moment. Oh, Cinnamon Swell, thank you for letting us know. I thought it was me. Oh, that's okay. They will, they'll fix it. And the eels are in the wild tangle. Okay, thanks guys. Oh my God, this whole time I thought it was me. Yeah, we definitely need to go further this way. Oh, now we're getting closer. See how it's turning yellow? Oh yeah. Love that. How is Bowser? It's quiet in the background. I know. I miss him. He's in Sydney with James, so. Oh, so we need to actually unlock the wild tangle to get those eels. Hmms. Who's my favorite Dreamlight character? I mean, I'm kind of a fan of Gaston at the moment. I just think he's really funny. So where is... which way do I need to go? Alright, so if we go up... I think if we go up here, we get closer to the wild tangle. So we need to get, there's two things we need to do. Gaston wants us to unlock the wastes, which we need mist. We need to save up mist to unlock the waste. But then if we want to unlock wild tangle, we probably also need mist. So we're in a little bit of a pickle. The grasslands is part of the wild tangle. It should work. Oh, okay. So this is, oh no, I went the wrong way. We're back at the, the gear place. You're in the wild tangle. Am I? No, I haven't unlocked it yet. Cause it's still grayed out. I feel this is, through there's the wild tangle. I mean, I think we can afford it. Maybe let's go back to Gaston, cause that'll be less, that will require less mist. So we probably have enough to go to the waste. Um, see ya Simosaurus, thanks for coming to the stream. Hi, I'm back, James. Oh, Jamesy. How we missed you so much. Okay, is this where it is? Yes, this looks like where we go to get to the wastes. Oh, this is 4,000 as well. Well, let's unlock this. Oh, hello. Pretty big expansion pass. I see that you found another mysterious time rift. This too is connected to the magic of your hourglass. Channel the magic mist to mend this wound in time. Okay. Let's visit the waste. You know? Cool. Ah, oh, there's a little house here. Hmm, something on the ground. Welcome back. Hey, Caitlin, what's up? How are you doing? Oh yeah, the collections tab will tell you which part of the wild tangle the eel is in. Yes, I forgot about that, thank you. James, where did you go? We're all curious, but incredible muscles wasting away. I need to make some lifting weights, maybe out of these coconuts. Honestly, pretty clever. Ooh, we can plant some stuff. Well, just in case we need to use those patches, I might not do anything right now. <gasps> what are these? Oh my God, Gaston has a store here. Nice. It's a secret? Oh, I just went to charge the car, it was there, okay. <laughs> 
Writing is strange. I can't believe I'm doing this. Gaston doesn't need books still. It does feel nice to get my thoughts out of my head. Good for you, Gaston. Hello, Capybara. I love you. I love you so much. All right. Well, we need to see Gaston at his shipwreck. Ooh. I'm distracted by finding something on this hourglass sparkle mission. Ugh, I'm getting distracted. Jelly, go see Gaston, okay. Hello. What are you doing here staring at, at the quicksand? No sign of the vault key. Hmm. Well, we need that key. There's no way to get to the jewel. But what if there is no scarab key and we're already doomed? Wait, what is the scarab? Ah, oh, thanks, Caitlin. Are you getting ready for bed now? You just pet him over and over. He's so cute. Oh, good to see you too, Cena. Nice. Oh my God, it's Hadassa. You never mentioned there was a scab. What does it matter with what the key looks like? We'll never find it. We've looked in two places too. Haven't we done enough? Not really. Ah. Check the quicksand. Ah. Okay. <clears throat> Goodbye. He doesn't think we're as skilled as him. But Gaston, he can, would we say sometimes he might, uh, he might think a little too highly of himself. I think so. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. You just caught Lefau, Lefau? Who, who is this? I don't recognize this. Hi, Olaf. Oh, that's awesome, Brittany. Front row. Amazing. How did you manage that? Le Fou. That's Gaston's little friend. Oh. I need to get to know Gaston better. Le Fou. He's so cute. I want a Lefu. Well, we have searched the quicksand. Perhaps we should search it not in the ripples? <laughs> Looney, that's ridiculous. Whoa! A sandfish. Cool. Um, also, James, if you are listening, bones, that's kind of creepy. Um, if you're still listening, James, a few folks in the chat were asking how Bowser is. How is Bowser? I'd like to know as well. Oh, yes. All right, well, let's just give Lefou to Gaston. I'm sure he'll be very excited. I don't want to give him back. He's so cute. Oh, Is this Lefou? I was wondering where I left that. You were lonely out here. You didn't even have Lefou. I made Lefou to pass the time, nothing more. Though it is an improvement on the original. He is... Bowser is very well. He was by the door when I got back and I gave him a treat, which he took and trotted off to his bed to eat. Oh, he's a little gentleman. Recreating a sidekick seems like a thing a lonely person would do. <gasps> Tell me, Chrissy. If I'd been feeling lonely, wouldn't making LeFou out of coconuts and talking to it every day make me more lonely? <laughs> <laughs> didn't help at all, oh no. I just realized I laugh like Gaston. 
You're clearly doing great out here. The jewel the wizard made up, which can only be found with a vault key that likely doesn't exist. Proceed without me. Okay. I've been thinking, even if there was treasure to be had, what does it matter? There's nothing here to spend it on. No one to impress. Well, if you won't help me directly, can you at least tell me a little bit more about this scarab key you mentioned? <gasps> Fine. The Mirage Wizard said it's in two pieces, shaped like a scarab, and when you put the pieces together, it will lead you to the vault. He's a good boy. <laughs> and were you able to find any clues about it? All I found is sand and the occasional <laughs> piece of junk and a chunk of an odd metal bug. Gaston! Ah. I said metal bug. Do you have sand in your ears? Oh my god. You know a scarab, long hollow thing you store a sword in. <sighs> scabbard, Gaston, that's called a scabbard, not a scarab. It's a dessert, a, a dessert beetle, a desert beetle, just like the metal one you found. Huh? <laughs> oh, Gaston. He threw the bug somewhere in the plains. Okay, probably in one of those time things. Hmm. I've got the right tool for this. Okay, so we need to All use right. our hourglass to find two halves of a scarab piece in the plains. Right. Right. Gaston is funny. I think he's my new fave. I always love Goofy. I just feel very comforted by Goofy. Oh, he said the dunes, right? Oh no, the plains. So back here. Okay. Oh, the guy, the actor plays both Olaf and LeFou very well. Is he the voice of them both? Okay, let's get our hourglass out and see if we can find these pieces. Ah, here we go. Bam, 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 bam. I like the sound effects on this. Oh! I thought there were two pieces we needed. Talk to Jafar. I see that you have acquired, oh yeah, one half. Were you watching me? Perhaps, perhaps I have certain devices keyed into the magical aura of the scarab that alert me when it comes into contact with dreamlight magic. Whoa. I think I will let you wonder. I commend you on your progress. Hmm, why don't you just tell me that the jewel of time was in some secret vaults full of treasures? Perhaps I wanted to test your metal. Metal? Metal? Though I had hoped Gaston would have done most of the work for you, and it would be as simple as taking a scarab key from him. I charged Gaston with this task some time ago, and clearly the fool made no progress. Why is he so incompetent? <laughs> Let it competent. Yay, Shauna, how are you doing? Welcome. I think he was too lonely to be productive. He, re re he recreated his friend out coconuts. Honestly, if I was stuck somewhere in a desert by myself, I would probably make James and Bowser out of coconuts. The second half remains to be found. Okay. Do not limit your search to the glittering dunes. After all, the lush jungle to the east used to be a desert. Okay. Okay. Sounds like we need to go to the Wild Tangle, maybe, to get the other half, or maybe just here. See ya, Haley. Have a good one. All right. Gaston. 
Where have you gone? It's literally in the same spot. I think the question is, where do we go to get to him? <laughs> oh no. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm gonna need some sparkles to find him. I thought I could do it on my own, but... Alas, I cannot. Oh yeah, I was definitely going the wrong way. Okay, let's speed things up and eat our... Eat our fishy fish. Mmm, yummy. Wee. I lost the sparkles for a second. Oh yes, now I know where we are. You guys get lost to the map? I'm pretty sure in last stream I was like, yeah, I don't really get lost. Like the map's not that hard and then in this stream I'm, I'm getting lost. Oh, Lisa, yeah, I was playing Snowboard Kids. Um, yeah, that was pretty awesome. Deligracy, I want to make sure you have one thing straight. Coconut Lefou is not some kind of companion or turret. Okay, he's still thinking about that. Okay, it's all right, Gaston. It's absurd I'm a grown man. Toys are for children. Never feel ashamed. Spoken like someone who plays with toys. Takes one to no one. <laughs> Why do you care what I think of Coconut Lefou anyway? <sighs> I have strayed from the Gastonian path. It is time for me to make up my impressive pursuits again and stop whittling like some pitiful carpenter. I must move forward. Did you find the scarab, Gaston? I did. One half down. All right, how do we find the next piece of it? Perhaps as I gaze stoically at the landscape, I'll catch sight of the other scarab piece. Oh, okay, I'll check back with you in a few hours. All right, he needs to think about it for a while. <sighs> Give Gaston some time to recenter himself. And then we need to explore the wild tangle to see who you meet. Well, we can definitely work on just getting more mist. So we can open, because we need 4,000 mist to unlock most stuff. We only have 297 now. It's a bit sad, isn't it? So let's uh, let's head back to where there were strawberry bushes. So we need to harvest some strawberries. So we can do that. I also want to check into Scrooge's. Ah, oh, hello to Kimberly's niece. How are you doing? I keep thinking that snake is going to attack you. Same. It has me very worried. I knew I wasn't the only one. Okay, where's the strawberry bush? Over here. Mmm, strawberries. I actually had strawberries for breakfast this morning. I treated myself. I got strawberries, raspberries, and blueberries. With some porridge. Very nice. She's gonna be two in May. Oh, that's exciting. I went to a one-year-old birthday. That was pretty cool. And actually, I unfortunately missed it, but there was another one-year-old birthday party. I wish I had gotten to go to. And that one was wild. Oh, that that cost six thousand to investigate. Wow. Um, cause that one was like a massive first birthday. There was, I think, jumping castle and like little animals and it was kind of like what you see on the Real Housewives, but not as extreme. <laughs> Was that Miss Judy's? Oh, we must have already gotten the strawberries. I thought we still had to get them. Okay. Find one time bending gift, spring two gifts, sell vegetables, plant vegetables. Okay. 
Well, let's buy vegetables, plant vegetables, and then we can sell the vegetables. Actually, what vegetables do we have in our inventory? We have a few. Well, a melon, will a melon be classed as a vegetable or not really? How are you liking the new expansion? I like it. I feel like there's heaps to do. So I feel like you get a lot in it, which is great. There's going to be a lot of time, gameplay time in it. I like the new characters, unlocking them. We got some pearls here. Big fan of Gaston. Big fan of my capybara. <laughs> and I do like having this whole new biome to explore. Pretty cool. What do you guys think of it? Do you like it? If you use your time tool on the sand swells, you can find a lot of mist in them. Oh yeah, that's a great idea. Like, wait. I thought we could clear them. Oh, I couldn't clear that one because it's it's too big, I guess. Oh, that gives you 50. Okay. It's pretty good. I can't wait for my day with Mickey later. Sometimes I, I can't remember which tool to use on what. There we go. Can you show the new map? Yeah, sure. So here you go. Pretty cool. This is a whole new map with the expansion pass. Ancient landing, glittering dunes, wild tangle. And it's it's gonna take a little while to unlock all of this map. So yeah, we've still got quite a bit to do. Not to mention all of the new quests and the new additions since the update. It's a big job. It's a big job, you guys. <laughs> you have to upgrade the tool. Yeah. Is that through a quest or do we just need to collect heaps of mist to do that? At least we can get the little ones. How are you, everyone? I'm well, Kimberly. I'm a little sleepy, but I'm really, really happy to be back here in Melbourne for a little while. I have my family Christmas tomorrow, so I get to see my aunties and uncles and cousins. Um, I'm really excited to see my sister. I saw mom last night, which is really nice. And... My mom's birthday was on December 10th, so I got to give her her present. So that was really nice. Yeah, so I'm good. What time is it for me? It's a quarter to one in the afternoon. Quarter to one. Oh my god, we've only got 500. Okay, let's, uh, let's plant. The vegetables. See if melons count as a vegetable. Over here. I'm tipping that did not count as a vegetable. <laughs> what about if we plant... What are these called again? Yams. We don't really have yams. Do we have yams in Australia? Is a yam a potato? I think a yam's like a potato, right? Like it's a root vegetable. You need some matcha. Oh my God, yes. I'm really loving the matcha life. Okay, I think that completed the vegetables. Oh, it did. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, gain 500 stock coins. Okay, we can sell some stuff. Oh, we need a little bit of an outfit change. All right, let's water these and we'll have a little bit of an outfit change. Could even check Scroogey's. Oh, they're sweet potatoes? It's almost like a sweet potato. Okay, so it's a... Oh my gosh, did you guys see how many potatoes I harvested yesterday? 
Holy dooly, there was so many potatoes in the garden. I couldn't believe it. Um, yeah, I just went into the garden and I had put in some potatoes a few months ago just in the graveyard patch at the back of the garden. I was like, I don't know if this will grow because the soil is not good quality. And in Australia, usually you have to give soil some nutrients and prepare the soil to grow things. Um, because the Australian soil is not really naturally designed to grow vegetables, like say in England. So I was so stoked that there were actually potatoes. You don't like yams? Oh, okay. okay. Well, that's, that's fair. Let's head back to Scroogey's because we haven't opened our Scroogey store here yet. Let's see if there's any new outfits to check out. Mm -hmm. Whee! So yeah, big, big potato harvest. It was a good time. <sighs> oh, I love trees. Okay, let's see what's in store today. Wee, Scrooge. Yeah, Abby, I also have like these garbage bags to grow potatoes in with a little, um, a little Velcro door at the bottom. So I also plant them in those and I did get potatoes in that. Oh, I love that wallpaper. I did get some potatoes in those too. That's a cool wallpaper. Oh, I don't have that much money, though. Mm, we're going to need to grow some pumpkins. Now, are there any cute outfits that I would like here? Oh. Oh, that's cool. What do you guys think of this? That's, ki that's kind of cool, but I don't even have enough money for it. Oh, no. Oh no. Okay, we need to sell stuff. Treat yourself! There's only one thing to do. Treat yourself! <laughs> Love it. Alright, what can we sell? I don't know if I should be selling the pearls. Should we be selling pearls? Or should we be keeping them? Skeleton fish get a lot. Oh, want a date? Wow, all of the, a lot of the fish from the sand dunes are worth a lot. Should we be keeping Rapunzel's flowers? I don't know. Don't sell the pearls. Okay, we'll keep the pearls. And sell some bamboo. Help us, Goofy, we need money. We do. We can sell strawberries, almonds. Yeah, we can sell that. Keep the flowers. Okay. <laughs> sell these. The bones. We can sell some algae. We'll sell some. Oh, we might need tropical. Oh, no! I didn't mean to sell the tropical wood. Oh, well. Capybara. Yes. I have a lot of onyx, so I'm going to sell that. Usually I hold on to those gems, but I feel okay about it. All right, sandfish we can sell. That seems pretty straightforward to catch. What about the scorpion? Oh my Lord. Scorpions are worth a lot. Can we sell this scorpion or do we need those? <laughs> wow. But even still, that's not that much money because we need a lot more to buy that outfit. Maybe I'll just sell it. I mean, so what if I need to do more fishing? I like fishing. 
The snakes eat the scorpions, do they? Wait, we interact with the snakes? Yeah, the outfit was expensive. It was 8,000. Oh, actually we do have, we do have enough money for the outfit. I mean, I didn't know guys, it's really expensive. <gasps> Treat yourself. <laughs> Ooh, El Angelfish. Yes, they're a critter. Oh wow, I did not realize they were critters. I just thought they were decoration. I just feel like this is really cool. I like it. I'm not really sure why it's so expensive though. Like, okay, now I see why it's so expensive. Cause it's so cool. Oh, it's a Wally outfit. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to just change up the shoes, obviously. We'll get some sneakers on. Oh, no, 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 we need boots. We need the brown combat boot. Yes. Then we need, are there any hats we should be wearing? Hmm, doesn't really go. Put the glasses on. I mean, we're working in the dunes, you guys. We probably do need glasses or at the very least a hat of some kind. Like the sailor's cap. The ears are kind of cool. Oh, it's a hard choice. Let's do the, the sand goggles. Treat yourself. <laughs> oh, Abby, that, that could have been a problem if that was the case. And I, I love these ears. Oh, look at these little sheep earrings. I didn't even know I had those. Um. Let's do the pearls because we are collecting pearls. I feel like that's that's quite good. It's quite good. Um, and then hair wise, I feel like I need my hair up. Like in a oh, that's so cute in the little bun. Guys, that that's really cute. Yeah, I really like this outfit. Absolutely love this. Actually, we better check upstairs too. Love that, yes! Look, that's fire. Uh, it's quite a nice table, I will say. It's quite a nice chair. Ah, oh, it's the Burger Boys. The Sandwich Boys. Oh, greetings, I didn't mean to select that. So James's way of playing this game is he buys everything. He buys everything in the store. He's like, if he doesn't have it, he needs it. Which I find that to be very, very full on. Yeah, Sunny. I don't know, Abby. I don't know. Slay. Yay. Me. Okay, I need to stand up for a sec. Oh, I wonder if I can lift the desk. I'm a little bit worried about the cables though. Uh, uh, yeah, I won't lift the desk because I haven't checked all the cables in a while. So I'm just, I'm sorry that you get this view for a second. Just need to stretch my legs, but I can't stop playing you guys. Oh really, Juju? <laughs> oh what we're able to teleport to the wells between the two worlds oh i did not know that i was thinking i'd have to go on the boat every time oh well thanks for letting me know i was thinking it is quite quite a lot it's quite the journey hydrate yes i need to I need to get some water. It's very important to stay hydrated, folks. Is my voice really loud? Because I'm really near the mic right now. DDLV. Deligracy ASMR. Hello. Do we like the sound of this? No, you ain't being loud. Oh. Because my, my mouth is right on the mic. <laughs> Okie dokie. Hi, hmm. I'd love to talk to you. 
Okay, we've only got 703. We have a long way to go. Silver. Oh, because I didn't change my outfit here. I guess it didn't register. Okay, we might just have to do a cheeky jacket moment just to collect this. And then take it. Oh, no! No! Wait. Where's my big outfit gone? Oh, that's cute. That's my desert fit. There we go. Ooh, that's fun. Delia ASMR is amazing. Well, I've been told a lot of people do sleep while watching my content. So ASMR may be our next journey to go on together. You have a very calming voice. Well, thank you. I've started being called a cozy streamer or like a cozy gamer, I guess. And I was like, I like that. I'd like to be in that, um, in that box. Oh, Scrooge wants us to follow him. Forgot, totally forgot about that. Like a podcast or something. I feel like a podcast. I, I love listening to podcasts, don't get me wrong, but it's probably, it's probably not something I'd like to do. Because I think it requires a lot of research if you're doing it by yourself. Oh, that's so nice, Sarah. I have folks videos I watch when I feel anxious too. Such as Dr. Gluon. Okay, we can sell some things. Mm -hmm. do, do, do. Okay. Hello. Howdy. Howdy doody. I wish I had sold all of, all of our stuff at the other store. I mean, at this store. But we can try selling some of these. That's all. Thank you. Okay, we got our coins. We sold some vegetables. There we go, now we're cooking. Madison says you have very cozy, safe, welcoming and inspiring vibes. Well, thanks Madison, that that is great because that's that's all I wanna, that's what I wanna be, just cozy, chill, fun. That's the goal. Hello from Norway, hello. He cracks me up when I watch his Let's Plays. I think I missed who you're talking about. Anyway, it's good. It's good. Prepare two meals. Add three decorations. They really want me to go to that wild tangle. Ooh, Judy's. Oh my gosh, there's also the star path. We haven't done any of the star path. Oh, there's so much to do. Now I've even forgotten what I was doing. Decorations, meals, decorations and meals. I was going to cook something. Oh, Dr. Gluon, yeah, yeah. Uh, Dr. Glow, that's great. I just really like how ridiculous Dr. Gluon is. Like, his humor, I think, is so funny. It just always makes me laugh. And again, it's that feeling of feeling safe. Ooh, 
Harvest Three Dream Mangoes. Oh, we really need to get into that wild tangle. <laughs> All right, we'll add some decorations. Wonderful. Don't get rid of these crystals. Are we up to that yet? Oh yeah, we just yeah we just use dream light magic. Other than videos with James, I've never watched him. He is um, a variety streamer, YouTuber, known for many games like Dreamlight Valley or other life simulation games. Where's the other coin? Where's the other coin? <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> oh, no. Um, and I describe him as a kid show for all ages, though. Like a kid show for adults, although kids could watch him, too. Um, that's kind of the, like, it's, it's silly, it's fun, it's not serious or anything. Whoa. Oh my gosh! I didn't realize I had all of these to collect. Good sense of humor. He does it all. He, d he does do it all. Whoa. Well, that was exciting. I got confused because I forgot Eternity Isle, all of this is missed. So we have all of this to do as well as the missed duties. That was epic. Um, Abby, yeah, it's nice. All I can say is it's nice. Yeah, okay, I'm gonna switch to mouse and keyboard to pop some decorations in. Part of me is wondering if this tree right here is a bit much. Because <laughs> it is kind of a little obnoxious in the middle of all the stores and lovely things around here. <laughs> you know? Okay, well maybe we can have a little, uh... Oops. A little rearrange decoration-wise. Move some of these boxes. And maybe put some community things around the place. Put that under there. Move that there. What have we got in our little in our little furniture? Oh, I like that couch, but not for outdoors. Now furniture catalog is what I was trying to say. Hmm. Let's just go to all. See if there's anything here that could suit. So that waterfall sound is quite relaxing. Oh, I have a question for you guys. If you listen to any music or sounds for going to sleep or as ambiance or for meditation, what sound effect do you listen to? Because I realize at nighttime, I like listening to a crackling fire for meditation. But during the daytime, I like listening to rain and thunder. I guess because bedtime, I want to feel cozy. Could this be here? Maybe not that. You rotate between storms and brown noise. Hmm. Very nice. About this palm. Oh, a fountain. Maybe a little fountain here could be nice. We really need to do a lot of decorating in this place. Um. I mean, we could, we could eventually have. Like a fountain. Because really, we want to turn this into a bit of a town center. Hmm. Yeah, I think the house, I think I'm going to move the house. <laughs> I just feel like it's got to go. Do a little fountain. Oh, watering hole. Oh, photo booth. 
Christmas rug. Brown noise, infinite piano, nice. Stream noise makes me have makes me have to pee. I see lo-fi storm and forest noises. Green noise is green noise like greenery, forests and stuff? Or is it just like a sound? Rain sounds at night. Hmm. I found an eight hour video of someone playing singing bowls specifically for sleep. Hmm. Requesting deli ASMR for meditation or sleep. I mean, I, I could put it on more deligracy, but I feel like some people would be like, what is this? I don't know what I would even say. Put a watering hole here. I would whisper stories. And I think we may, we need more time to develop this area, so I'm just gonna put a present here because it's Christmas time. Okay. Okay. Cool. We've unlocked some more recipes. I thought we added three decorations. Oh, glittering dunes. Oh, we we're meant to do it up here. Oh, okay. That's my bad. Sorry, everyone. Light raindrops. Hmm. Green noise is white noise, but different. Decibel. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Because all of those um, color sounds are kind of similar, but different. I do like this fountain here, though. I think I, I'm going to keep that. I think I will. Let's go back to Glittering June and place a few items here. I would pay to listen to you read books. Hmm. I, f I feel like there's, there's that term again. I feel like I would really enjoy reading books, but I'm not very good at doing character voices. And I don't know if people expect that. I don't know. I'm just gonna like do a nice little, um, we're just gonna do like a nice, a nice Christmas installation here. You know, just in the middle of the deck. This is just like a nice little Christmas moment for everyone to enjoy who comes to this desert. Anything else Christmassy here? I think they're gonna get the gist with the Christmas tree, the sleigh, and then to top it all off, we will have this lovely statue. There we go. What do you guys think of our Christmas installation? That's beautiful. Yeah, that's really nice. It's strong, isn't it? Yes, very nice. Okay, moving on. Mine four rock spots in the wild tangle. Love your builds, like this one, my installation. Thank you. Um, the video is buffering a lot for you. You've never had to, you've never had trouble on your phone before. Hmm. You can always lower the quality of the stream in the settings, um, like the resolution. And sometimes that can help and it doesn't need to buffer as much. Hmm. It's like exactly where I placed the Christmas stuff. It wants me to use the time bending tool. Some gears. Hmm. 
Ooh, we can probably... Are any of these small enough for us to move? No, they're big ones. Your... Your... Oh, yours are all buffering? Uh, it doesn't look like I'm dropping any frames. So I don't know. Ah, oh, thanks, Abby. Let's mine some rocks. Thanks, Madison. That means that means a lot. Thank you. Happy bar. No. Move. Bam. Got that one. Oh, yes, give me that mist. Ooh. Missed me. Totally fine here, haven't had any buffering. Oh, good. Excellent. How do you find the time bending gifts? Is that just from searching around? Feed a cobra. Okay. Okay, we can, we can do that. It's not my favorite thing to do, but I'll do it. It was while you were building the Christmas stuff. Weird. I don't know you guys. Oh, there's a cobra. Now, how do we approach the cobras? Aha. Uh -huh. Here you go. Oh, it, like, it does like that. Thank you for that tip. Okay. Oh, well, the coppers are quite nice. They, they give us stuff. <laughs> Cook with spices, plant vegetables, sell vegetables, remove splinters. Harvest almonds, strawberries, fish. Okay. Yes, Juju, that's exactly how I feel right now. I guess we could also bring gifts. Something over here it wants us to go this way. Go have a cobra. I think this is good. It, it'll get us more used to coppers and then we'll we'll find them easier to get along with. <laughs> Maybe. Can you guys hear that? Hmm, no more treasure in this area. Hums. There's really loud noises. Nothing over here. Oh, the flowers are going to melt this rain. Oh, Minnie, you're so sweet. You really are so sweet. Oh, let's get rid of these. Ah. Thank you. You can get a lot of mist from these. You guys are right. You are right. I'm lost. I should start writing a journal in case I start losing my memory. Oh, poor Gaston. He's really trying. Move all of these. Oh, we do need to do a bit of cooking with local spices. Our energy is very low. I just. Oh, good lord! Taking photos. But yeah, if you guys um, are interested in Dreamlight Valley, you can click the link in the description down below to get more information about it. But it's a really good game. I really like it. 
it's one of the few games that I do play in my own time as well. Although I haven't been able to play it as much recently. How much longer do you think you'll stream for? Uh, a bit longer. A bit longer. Grab those, grab those. Let me just check. Yeah, probably another 40 minutes to an hour. Just keeping an eye on the time. Whoa. That one was a different color. Yeah, I'm good at, I'm, I'm enjoying hanging out with you guys. And then after stream, I wanna go for a nice walk. Actually, no, I won't do it directly after stream. I'll probably wait a little while. So it's not like really high UV, go a bit later. Um, I don't know, I just gotta, I gotta go see my sister as well. Taylor, how you doing? I'm well. Well, actually, my character's hungry, so I gotta gotta take care of that. Let's um. Oh, hey, Marilyn. Let's head back. And also, if we see Scrooge, we also need to follow him. So we can do that while we're on this part of the island too. Use your time tool on those floating spheres and you can find mist. Oh, is that what you're meant to do with them? Oh my gosh. With these? Oh, why didn't I think of that? Oh, that doesn't work. Is that? Oh, maybe that's not one of the, no, actually I don't think that's one of them. I think that's from the initial quest we did on this island. The other spheres. I'm excited to try that. Okay, let's just make some food because we're very hungry. Um, so we need to cook with herbs we've found. What can we cook with a herb? Well, this does use herbs. Let's do an auto fill and then we'll. Ah! Wait, I want to delete. Yeah, I want to delete that. I'm gonna go down to herbs and spices. I think I already had cu is cumin. Well, I definitely know cinnamons from this area. So let's cook with that. Hey, Kaylee, what's up? Are you standing today? Does your Melbourne desk graze? It does, and I would like to be standing, but. I am a little nervous that my cables, I haven't checked the cabling. So if I raise my desk and it rips out a cable, uh, I don't want the stream to die. <laughs> so I thought I better test it off stream before I start standing up on streams, you know? There's a specific chest you can buy from Scrooge. You can put one in each realm and they connect. So if your home storage gets full, you don't have to go back to home base. That is a good trick. Thank you for letting me know. Yeah, I need. I really need to do a full overhaul of the chests, of the area, you know. I need like a full summer clean of my village. Oh my gosh, we have so much energy now. It is so good. Okay, where's Scroogey? Oh no, not gonna hear the gonna lift it song today. Gonna lift it, got Wait, do I have that here? No. Hey guys! Hey guys! No. Jumps! No. I don't have the song here. We have a song where it's like, Gotta lift it, gotta I lift it to the desk. Jumps, 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 jumps. Sorry, I'm really oh. annoying. <laughs> I, 
I understand why folks are more interested in scenery than my shop. The landscape here does take your breath away. But we're not talking about sightseeing, we're talking about the state of my former shop. Yes, a building makeover I want to help. I want to make over everything. I want to make over the whole area. I need to find quartz copper. Pearls shining. Oh, we did need pearls. You guys were right. Gonna lift it, gonna lift it. Mine cop. We have. You're right, we do need to get more pearls. I am so glad that you guys were like, don't sell the pearls. See, this is, this is why chat is amazing. I'm just gonna get a drink of water, you guys. I'll be back in a sec. How you doing today? Okay, that's better. Also, I have um, in my background, uh, James made me Wally. A Lego. Lego Wally. How cool is that? And his little thing opens up too. That's pretty cool. It's so adorable, yeah. You see the candle? There's also a candle there. Now I've got the gotta lift it. Gotta lift it, gotta lift it. That song's stuck in my head too. That's dope. It's cool, isn't it? I have Wally that James made, and I have a, a Bowser, like the, not dog Bowser, other Bowser. <laughs> and a Glooby, of course. Yes, always a Glooby. Do you guys? Sorry, I'm just, oh yeah, you can see the candle. It's like positioned perfectly. That's good. Okay, so we need more copper, more pearls. We need to dig. Let's get digging. Oh, I love this outfit so much. Oh, excellent. It's pretty cool you can dig for pearls. So pearls in real life are found in the ocean? In... Are they actually in the big clams? No, there must be many ways to find pearls, not just in clams, because that would take forever and that would be extremely rare. In oysters, there are pearls. It, it's so beautiful, isn't it? Like pearls are stunning. When you think about how the ocean makes them. Actually, I don't even know how they're made, but I wanna learn now. Deli, where do you normally buy your workout clothes? I'm looking for good quality ones. Um, where do I usually buy them? I have a few that I go back to. I'm actually not sure if I meant to talk about it on a sponsored stream though. Um, I think it's okay because it's not like a, a game, so it should be fine. Um, I really like Beyond Yoga clothes, which you can only, that's from the US. I think it's in LA, so it's a little more expensive and difficult to get from Australia. But if you're in the US, it's quite good. And 
it, it is expensive, but they're really, really beautiful. As long as you make sure you take care of how you wash them, like you need to wash them in cold water and line dry them. If you can be bothered doing that, they're really lovely. That's what I'm wearing now. Um, and I also like Lululemon too. They are a piece of sand that is developed into a pearl. They are a lot of engineered ones now too. Oh, okay. Oh, that's so funny, Abby. It was James and your cats turned on the TV. So you woke up in the middle of the night to some guy saying, hey guys, but it was just James. Okay, so the real pearls only come from oysters or similar animals, right? And it's just sand that's circulated heaps to create a pearl. That is really fascinating. Oh, I love lessons from chat. Okay, we do have enough pearls. Let's just, oh no, oh dear. Pearls are in oysters. Mm. Interesting. What happens if you open an oyster to eat and there's a pearl in there? Does that happen? I feel like I must sound so stupid, but I'm like, I really don't know how it works. Loud cop, mine copper from rock. I haven't done much um, marine biology, as you can probably tell. Yeah, something like that. Okay. It's a piece of sand that the oysters system essentially attacks. Oh. Interesting tea. Oh, this is the thing you can use it on, apparently. Oh, that was so cool. Oh my gosh, so what do I do now? What is this? It's like a... Do I then go like this? I don't understand what I do with this. Do I... Is this like a spot where you can mine stuff? Oh, I accidentally went into the house. Typically, an oyster will be found when it's being shocked to cook and eat. Really? What's the likelihood of finding a pearl in an oyster? I guess it depends on what, the kind of oyster and where it's found. You get lots of drops in a certain time frame. Oh. Oh, KDB, you listen to a podcast about it. Nice. So I don't think we actually got any mist from that one. Well, let's try. Oops. So apparently from the wells, you can. So how do I, how do you get back to the other village via the wells? Do you have to, do you, have... do you walk up to a well maybe? I'm so confused with how I actually get back from the wells. Go back to map. The sand irritates the oyster and they make the pill to try and get some relief. Interesting. Hit F. Oh, X. Oh. Amazing. Thank you. Do you know how much time this will save me? <laughs> I didn't think of doing the fast travel option. Thank you. I literally just figured it out yesterday. Thank you. Oh, well, I'm glad I'm not the only one who's, you know, a little slur. Wait, why was it coming here again? Oh yeah, to look at the glowing orbs. That's right. Mm. Look for a glowing orb. There was 
one down on the beach, but they, I don't know, do they move around? Probably. Do, oh yeah, there's one down here. Let's quickly clean this up, no problem. Keep searching quickly in the circle and you can find lots of things. Okay, including mist. Do I have to use the hourglass to search for stuff? Or do I just run around looking for stuff? I'm guessing I need to use the hourglass quickly. <laughs> oh, we did get 300. So good. Quickly, quickly. Oh, oh no! Girl, what are you doing? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, this is a really good one, you guys. Oh, the ticking, the tick is going. So this is, this is what you gotta do. <laughs> that was cool. And then it disappears. Right, gotcha. You need to use the hourglass. Okay. Bring up the map, what they show up on the map as well. I don't think they show up on the map. I don't know if some of you guys are just delayed in the stream. Oh, here's another one. Or if you're trying to tell me something and I don't understand, I'm sorry. Oh, can't see what I'm doing. Let's see if we can get some more. Oh, this is definitely the way to go. Just do this, you guys. This is how we get all the mist. Ooh. And artifacts, I suppose. Eh. Oh no, it's about to disappear. Eh. Okay, we got a few things. Um. I'm not sure where else I have seen the mist balls. Those were the two places that I thought of. I guess we can just wander around. Oh, there's another one. Maybe they're in every area. Maybe they're in every realm. Let's get more. You feel like the circles here have more mist in them than in the rift? Maybe. Stop gardening. <laughs> oh, that, that was a good one. Okay, I'm definitely getting a little bit better at this, I feel. Oh, okay, as it, as it runs out. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe there is something to that. Maybe you can get more in the valley. I have not just Chelsea. I do not know what that is. It's one per realm. That's the vibe I was getting. Because I kind of realized whichever realm I went into, I saw a misty bowl. This, one, this place scares me, I'm not going to lie. Oh, pumpkins. Okay, maybe there isn't one in each realm because I don't see one in here. Olaf, why are you following me? No, Olaf. That realm's your favorite, really? That's really interesting. Because it's like, probably, uh, Oh, here we go. This is so cool. Got it. Got it. Oh, that was a good one, you guys.
Usually I can get three in one go. Hey, that one's spun a Whoa, that one's spinning. How am I meant to know which way to go? Aw. That one was hard. Hey, Farrah Gaming, how are you? There's one, you missed it. Oh, did I? Really? How could I miss it? Very easily. Let me really keep my eyes peeled. Oh, there it is. It's hiding behind Goofies. You're right. Do, do, do. I feel like James is gonna wanna play this after watching it. Nice. I think that's all we're gonna get, folks. Oh! Yay, we got a bonus one. You're caught up? Nice one, Ronnie. <sighs> so, how much do we have now? Five thousand. Yeah. Sorry. But yes. We can actually um go back and unlock the wild. What's it called? The wild. The wild. I'm thinking wild tassels. Wow. <laughs> Let me just check. The wild tangle. <laughs> So excited! Okay. Right here. Olaf needs to chill. He's like, really, like, please, let's do my quest. I know, I feel like the harder he tries, the more I run away. And that is just such a reflection of real life and human behavior, isn't it? I feel bad. Capybara! Hey! Hi! What do you want to eat? Hmm. I've forgotten what the capybara is like. What are they like? If I was a capybara, what would I like? Plants. Or berries? No, I think we tried berries last stream and, and he was like, no. They like cabbage. I don't have any cabbage. I'm sorry, capybara. I failed you. I'm sorry. Bam! Thank you. Some more almonds. All right, let me just check the map that we're at the right spot. Oh, lucky we checked, because there's two entrances. Do you think we want to go to the grove or the promenade? Well, this has this big thing on it, so let's go here first. And the lagoon looks really pretty. Give you a little pet, my capybara. All right, shall we investigate? Cabbage oh, is such a great hello. word. Cabbage. Yeah, I've never really thought about it. I see you've found another mysterious time rift. This too is connected to the magic of your hourglass. Oh, which did the quest say? Uh, I'm not quite ready yet. Listen, Clip. Off with you now. <laughs> Lots to do. Well, we had to give Gaston. Should we speak to Gaston first? Because he might say what part he wants us to go to. Maybe that's the safest option. Hey, where'd Gaston go? Oh my god. Gaston's on the move. Where? Gaston? Gaston? Where'd he go? Am I going crazy? 
Those are just villages in Eternity Isle. I thought I could see them on the map before. You have to give Gaston more time. Okay, so more time than we've given him and maybe then he turns up on the map. Hmm. Well, what should we do? Do we enter the tangle or give... How much time does Gaston need, honestly? I can't deal with this. I'm too impatient. I need Rapunzel. Rapunzel's very cool. I really like Rapunzel's hair. Great hair. He's had plenty of time, right? Just simply not fair. We have a lot of room to plant stuff, too. Hey there. Okay, we've got ancient magnets which is good because we needed that for Merlin. We've got our yams. Just get rid of these. I kind of want to keep that at Agav. I don't know why, I just feel like I should. wooden toy block mostly use mostly useless but could make a great gift for someone okay so one of the villagers will probably like it might be a good gift for someone oh, better keep that then You left the last stream with eight gears in your backpack and you didn't put them in any storage box. Yeah, we found out that it's actually um, a bug that people have that they're gonna fix. So they will fix it. They're usually very quick at fixing the bugs. Um, so that's good, it's not just me. Hello, Mason is cool. The agave is used in many new recipes. Oh, maybe we should keep that one. Well, Gaston still needs more time. Honestly, Gaston. Honestly. Well, let's go to Scrooge. Again, and we'll mine some quartz. Which reminds me, where do we find quartz? Quartz, quartz, quartz. Gem? No. Whoa, look at the bumble stern. That's cool. Quartz? Is quartz a gem? Should... I am confused. Is quartz... No, quartz is a stone. Wait, where would it... I'm confused where the quartz is in... I don't know. Where's Quartz? Quartz is crafting. You can just mine it. Can I mine it just anywhere though? I don't even see it in any of the menus. I don't see it in any of the areas. You can just mine it in the black rocks near your house. Okay. 
then that we shall do. I have so much work to do. Like, there's so many new things. So many new collectibles that I haven't even unlocked yet. It's from the stones on Eternity Isle. That's strange. Hmm. Alright. Well, let's just find rocks. Do you guys want to hear something really lame? Let's rock it. <laughs> uh. Let's rock it. Ah, there we go. Well, maybe it's not in that collection menu. Yeah, that was weird, right? That can, I was like, is it just me? Hey! Let's rock it. You wanna rock it with me? Gluon's gonna like that. Have to, have to let him know that, that pun. I do like the sound effects, that shh sound. It's cool. Well, I'm glad you guys love a pun as much as I do. My watch is telling me I have to stand and move. <laughs> we also should eat something. Let's have some more fishy fish. learnt where all of the mining spots are either. Have a look up here. Is there anything up here? Ah, secret one in the corner. Let's rock it. <laughs> How many of you guys are going to play this now and whenever you go mining or you need to mine in your head you're going to be like, let's rock it. Yeah. Get all pumped up about it. Oh, hey, Capybara. The, the companion just, it reminds me so much of Bowser. Because I'm like, oh, It's always there to help me. I'm going to name it Cappy. Very original name. Oh, Scramble Coins, the mini game with Mickey. I did actually play that once off camera. That, yeah, I'd forgotten that's what it's called. Scramble Coin. Yeah, that was cute. I wasn't, I need to f learn it properly. Oh, we got a lot of quartz just then. Wow, that was a good one. That was a really good one, actually. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mickey. Okay, let's jump to uh, the plains and see if there's anything over here. Let's rock it. Hey, Cobra. I'm not a. I'm not afraid of you anymore. We're gonna get so much mist, you guys. Now we know what those orbs are for. I'm gonna be misting like you've never seen. Oh, I don't know if we're getting quartz from these rocks. It might only be in the other area. Olaf, please. I know, Olaf is just... It's a lot. It's just, it's a lot. Hmm, don't mind if I do. Wonder if Gaston's had enough alone time yet. He said he needs a few hours. Where did he go? It's so hard deciding which characters to use. With the companions? Uh, maybe we can get quartz up here too. Maybe we can. I like 
like how there's the little gardening holes. Oh, did you see that? Whoa, a color changing mineral. That's cool. Oh, yes. Do you guys know how frequently they reset? Or spawn, rather? And do they spawn? I imagine this going to spawn in different spots. Each time. Oh no, we're not getting any mist, but we're getting other stuff. <gasps> yes! That was, that was pretty good. I would say that was successful. Honestly, I just want to find Gaston because I really miss him. Like, I, I worry if he's not around. Should I be concerned about this need for Gaston? I wonder if James is watching, but I hope, he, I hope he's not jealous or upset by it. Hmm. Hmm. What mind if I do? Wait, have we been out? Have we been down here? Is this where we came up? Oh. Hmm, that's cool. It's a cool little bit. Maybe, perhaps. Olaf is chasing you. <laughs> and we're chasing Gaston. Oh, that's so sad. One day we need to dedicate a stream just giving Olaf the love he deserves and, and the love he needs. I don't know if this gives us any quartz up here. Oh, hey, Mickey. Hey, can you talk about it? James has better hair. He'll be fine. Okay, he'll be We're getting, we're getting very good at the mist. Is it the, um, the rocks spawn every five minutes, right? Is that how long it takes? Vaguely remember it's every five minutes. Ooh, I wonder if we can make anything here. We can upgrade our hourglass. Oh, it's 5,000 to upgrade it. <gasps> Rafiki. Forky! Okay. So this is a new time bending table you get with the expansion pass too. We can make ancient machines. There's new quests. Ooh. So I guess Merlin might ask us to do a few of these. Make new slabs. Make some new potions, all of that good stuff. Sneaky, sneaky rock. Let's rock it. We got some jade. Oh, we got some more quartz. Okay, we only need two more quartz and then we're ready to go back to Scrooge. So close, yet so far. The auto cooker is awesome. Oh yeah, we're gonna need to get the auto cooker. That's a good point. We need to craft the auto cooker. Mm, new quartz here. All I want is quartz. Sorry, Scrooge, I'm trying. I feel like he's following me and he's like, Are you, have you done it yet? I'm trying, Scrooge. <laughs> you need all of those fancy machine parts and they are hard to find. Well, I guess they would be because you can only find them using the, the time so tool. To it's so good to see you. Oh no, 
Have the rocks respawned? Oh, yes. I have to wait until Saturday to finish Mirable's quest and she won't leave me alone. Well, she's making sure you're going to finish it. You know, she doesn't want you to forget about it. So she's just following you. That's funny. Minnie. I love Minnie. Oh, oh, we got the, we got the parts. I wasn't paying attention. I was reading the chat. Scrooge, he ran to us. He's like, yes, you did it. Hello. Hello. New ventures. I've got the goods. Here you go. I love our little bun. It's so cute. Yay! Oh. Bless me, bagpipes. Excellent work, Deligracy. We're ready for yet another grand opening. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> Pardon me. Uh, oh, yeah, Moody and Macmillan. Yeah, I know I can get it without the... Um, the orbs too. But the orbs, the orbs are really fun. Yay! And to reward you for bringing both this building to my attention and helping me make it as good as new, I want to be, I want you to be the one to open this shop. It is a great honor. Thank you, kind ah, That's beautiful. Let's do this. See, Gaston, this is what happens when you're available like Scrooges. Oh, you get things paper. done. I might need a wee bit of star coins. Oh, how much? I'm just ribbing ya. Scrooge, after all you've done, it's the least I can do to open up my shop free of charge. Well, that is very generous of him. I would not, I would not put it past Scrooge to want more. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I hope he feels better soon, Brittany. Yay! We have another Scrooges. Take a picture. Take a picture. It'll last longer. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Oh, we don't look as... Oh, there, that's better. <laughs> there we go, that's better. The first one wasn't as good. Yeah, I just want to save the progress. Yay, we did it! Where's Scrooge gone? Scrooge! Where did you go now? Honestly, they just, they get away, don't they? Oh, he's right here. I might have overreacted. Yeah, I hope he's better soon, Brittany. And thanks for coming to the stream. Well done, Deligracy. Yay! Oh, did he just give us money? Oh my gosh, Scrooge gave us money? He gave us star coins? Wow, he's in a great mood. Wow. Well, see me as Gaston is still not ready. I think I might end the stream right here. Thank you guys so much for coming to the stream. Thank you for Disney Dreamlight Valley for sponsoring it. And yeah, check out the game in the link in the description down below if you would like. Um, whoa, Eve looks so cool when she's flying like that. I don't know if I've seen her fly. That was really cool. I know this is weird, but I love how shiny she is. Well, I uh, not gonna lie, I'm probably gonna play this tonight and progress a bit more. Yeah. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for coming to the stream. Uh, if you missed any of it or you want to watch anything back, it'll be available as a VOD. Um, just go to the stream tab on my channel. Uh, thank you to the YouTube members as well for supporting the stream and I love you guys. 
Um, Maggie, I'm spending Christmas, well, I'm doing an early family Christmas tomorrow with my family. And then on actual Christmas day, I'll be going back to Sydney um, and we'll have Christmas with James's family this year. Um, so it'll actually be my first Christmas with the Turners. So I'm very excited. And we're gonna watch Christmas movies. Oh, and also very important, I'm watching The Holiday with Mum. So yeah, we're gonna do that. That'll be nice. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the plan. And in five days on the 20th, which will be next Wednesday, um, that'll be 10 years on YouTube. Very exciting. So I have a special video already filmed and scheduled for that. Um, so that'll be our big 10 year anniversary, 10 years since starting on YouTube. And I've done a special video because my guess is leading up to Christmas, I'm not going to be able to do a live stream that day. But if I'm up for it, I'll go live to celebrate as well. But I can't make any promises. Um, that's your birthday, Ronnie? Oh, that's cool. The 20th of December. Nice. I feel like it's it's probably going to be a bit too much to also stream. But there is a special video anyway. Um, so we'll see how we go. Yay. Well, thanks, guys, so much again. Uh, thanks for modding. Choo-choo, Macumbo! As always, and also James for popping in and out. I love you guys. I hope you have a beautiful, lovely day morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i can't wait to speak to y'all soon appreciate you guys for being here bye Dagna. <laughs>